free Mix 1041 app at my Mix 1041. The top of the hour is presented by Best Buy Metals, making sure the top of your house is the best it can be. BestBuyMetalRoofing.com. Fox News is next. Presented by Capital Tire Service in downtown Cleveland. Fox News. I'm Chris Foster. It's been a week since United Auto Workers went on strike at three plants in Michigan, Ohio, and Missouri. Miller may walk off the job today. United Auto Workers President Sean Fain is expected to make an announcement unveiling additional strike targets. With well, the workers set to walk out starting at noon Eastern time. But he said that could be prevented if the auto companies make serious progress in contract talks. Fox's Sean Langell. At least five of the dozens of high school students hurt in a charter bus accident in Orange County, New York, are in critical condition. Two adults died. At this time, Preliminary information indicates a failure of a front tire may have been a contributing factor to this accident. New York State Police Lieutenant Colonel Richard Mazzone. The bus was one of six taking kids from Long Island, New York, to a band camp event in Pennsylvania. It went down a 50-foot ravine after the driver lost control. The band director and a retired teacher on the bus were killed. America's listening to Fox News. The news is sponsored by Lee University, where you can expect something great. At Southern Heritage Bank, we provide tools to protect you and your accounts. Secure Lock Equip is an easy-to-use mobile app that puts the power to protect... There are a lot of banks, so what makes Southern Heritage Bank unique? It's our commitment to being unbelievably good as we identify and meet your needs. Stop by one of our five locations in Cleveland or Chattanooga and let us show you the difference our customers have come to expect. We strive to offer the latest banking technology mobile wallet, online account opening, mobile banking with bill pay, and ATMs that allow cash or check deposit. All available 24-7 with a local community bank. Southern Heritage Bank, a division of First Citizens National Bank, member FDIC. You're listening to Mix 1041, Talk 1013, The Buzz, and we're on MixTV.TV. Also, we are on your phone, your mobile devices, if... You've downloaded the free Mix 1041 app. Listen or watch anywhere, uh, all of our uh, stations. At uh, You can download the app from our website. It's free at mymix1041.com. Free thanks to CHI Memorial. In the news this morning, the Cleveland Daily Banner reports that indicted on one charge of sexual battery stemming from an incident in June, a Bradley County Fire and Rescue Battalion commander has resigned. We've been reporting on this. James Clayton Smith, age 48, has been employed by the fire department. Uh, since uh, 2009, submitted his letter of resignation on Thursday. He was charged by a Bradley County Grand Jury on August the 16th and was arrested by the Cleveland Police Department September 3rd, arraigned on September 11th. The reports uh, say that, uh, the, or the Cleveland Daily Banner reports, that they, uh, through an open records request, sent a letter in Smith's fire and rescue personnel file from interim Fire and Rescue Chief Jeff Stewart details the accusation from management of the CBC, the Chattanooga Billiards Club on uh, Inman Street, who alleged an incident occurred, quote, on the evening of June 23rd, about 5.15 p.m. The letter says that while sitting in the outside patio area, the waitress was pouring drinks for the customers, and James Smith touched her inappropriately. The incident caught on a security camera. Smith is seen laughing as the waitress jumps and walks away. According to Stewart's letter, the woman notified CBC management, who proceeded to file a verbal complaint with Fire and Rescue against Smith June 24th. CBC uh, across, is across the street from Fire and Rescue headquarters, Edmund Street, has since banned Smith from the premises. Smith, at the time of the incident, was still on unpaid administrative leave from a separate incident that happened in Polk County in March according to Stewart's letter. WTVC television reports a police chase that began in Hamilton County ended in front of McMinn County High School on Thursday. A Hamilton County Sheriff's Office spokesman said in a statement the chase began on Birchwood Pike. Investigators believe the suspect was also involved in an earlier chase in Bradley County. No other details have been released. Unemployment rates out for the state and local unemployment rates in Bradley County, also in Polk County. 
They also uh, both saw unemployment rates fall by three tenths of a percentage point from July. These are August numbers. Bradley County's unemployment rate near a record low, 3.6 percent. McMinn County dropped to 4.2 percent. Polk County a rate of 4 percent. Both Ray and Meg's County's rates came in at 4.4 percent. Both dropped six tenths of a percentage point from July. Of course, uh, some of this is. Uh, uh, education uh, uh, being added back into the uh, back into the uh, the payroll system after being off for the summer. Monroe County saw the largest drop in our area, eight tenths of a percentage point drop to three point seven percent statewide. Our unemployment rate three point one percent. And uh, let's see here, the unemployment rate decreased in ninety three of the ninety five Tennessee counties. And uh, let me uh, tell you what, let's uh, remind you of what's happening tonight. We are Southeast Tennessee's football headquarters. Cleveland High School will host Chattanooga Red Bank tonight at Benny Monroe Stadium at Raider Field. 7 o'clock kickoff right here on Mix 1041 and the Mix app. Bradley Central High School will host uh, Heritage of Georgia, coached by former Cleveland coach E.K. Slaughter. Bear Stadium tonight. Uh, Bridget coverage starts at 7 o'clock. And by the way, uh, Bradley Principal Patrick Spangler and Gar the voice of the Bears, Gary Onby, are coming in in just a few minutes. Oh, good. Yeah. Got a big announcement to make. You want to be listening for that? If you, and again, if you if you got to go, you can't tolerate us anymore. I understand. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, you can go back on MixTV.TV later. And uh, see that. Walker Valley home tonight to take on Ray County again at 7 o'clock kickoff. That'll be on 99.1 FM and the Mix app. So uh, uh, you can get your tickets early at the Town Squire, also at Monogram Market and Gobbles Automotive. Uh, for those games tonight, going to be a big night on our family of stations. Here, here's the best way to do it, folks, I'm telling you. Download our app. Go to the Southeast Tennessee Football Headquarters page tonight. <clears throat> now, Fruit Loops, am I saying it right, or am I making some mistakes? Uh, no, that sounds pretty accurate. So they go there, and what do they, what do they see? They can click on uh, high school football scores. Yeah. They can see the scores, or they can listen to the streams. No. You really are one of the most <laughs> motivating people I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Then he's in here screaming at me about Duck Dynasty. I want to send you guys the clip. Of Duck Dynasty? Yes, where they go on strike. Oh, he says, I'll all I want is a sandwich. Is that as funny as it sounds? Oh, it, it's it's hilarious. Yeah, I know. I was asking about that last night. Oh, God love you. All right, Bridget. Uh, well, and, well, first, before the streets here, we have an active contest right now. Until 8 a.m. If you want to win, <clears throat> we start this at 6.30. I don't know where you people have been. But uh, if you want to win a pair of tickets to see UT and uh, Texas San Antonio, Bridget, what do they need to do? Call or text, is that right? That's right, yeah. 614-6499. Call us on the Volunteer Ritapest Mix Line or text us on the Sell with Darren text line. That's Darren Miller, EXP Realty. Again, our number, 614-6499. Call or text us. And uh, you, uh, uh, but listen, if, if you win the tickets, you may have to play <laughs> because UT is horrible and you may have to play. Uh, you may be called on to perform uh, on the field. So maybe you've got some eligibility. I don't know. Uh, so call or text it. So what we're doing is we're doing this contest till 8 a.m. And then it's Fall Fun Friday. It's a, uh, it's the final day of summer. Fall starts tomorrow. I'm wearing, uh, hmm, what do you think of this? A quarter zip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A la mm -hmm. the Ma I'm one of the Manning brothers, apparently. <laughs> Boy, I wish. Anyway, uh, from the town squire. Larry actually gave this to me for my birthday. God love oh, How nice. I'll be loving Larry. Uh, so call or text UT tickets this hour. Next hour, Mayfield Farm Park, which has their season opener tomorrow. Back to you. Okay, let's get a check of traffic here. This Don Ledford Cleveland Mixed Highway Patrol report is brought to you by Don Ledford in Cleveland. It's year-end model closeout time, and Don Ledford Buick is saying yes to low interest rates and trade assistance in September. That's at Don Ledford Buick on Northley Highway in Cleveland and anytime at DonLedford.com. We have no reports of any accidents this morning. Drive safely out there as you make your way in. If you see a traffic problem, give us a call. The volunteer Riddipest mix line is 614-6499. You can also text 
text us at that same number on the Sell with Darren text line. That's Darren Miller, EXP Realty. This traffic report is brought to you by Waste Connections of Cleveland. Waste Connections introduces efficient, state-of-the-art automated curbside service. Find out more by visiting wasteconnections.com slash clevelandtn. All right, time for the uh, Hardy's Wake Up. you got to get fueled up, people. Come on. It's the uh, final day of summer. Fall starts tomorrow. Everybody's all excited about that. Hardy's excited. So uh, they've got flaky, buttery goodness. Hardy's two for five dollar mix and match breakfast. That's, that's how you got to get fueled up, folks. Come on now. Uh, includes a made from scratch sausage and egg biscuit. Biscuits and gravy, French toast dips. Choose two of the same or mix and match for delicious breakfast variety. This morning at a Hardee's near you. There's a new flavor coming out of the Hardee's Craft Kitchen. Hardee's two for five dollar breakfast bake goodness into your morning. Choose a biscuit with sausage and egg, biscuit and gravy, or a country fried steak biscuit. Any two, just five dollars. Hardee's, goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardee's app. Our slogan is better mattress, better price. And at Mermaid, we really do believe that because we use the highest quality of foams, the highest quality of intercoils that go into the mattresses, and we have the highest quality people working for us. We have a number of employees that have been with us for up to 30 years, and we're very proud of that fact. Transform your window project with Cleveland Exteriors. High quality Viwintech windows built to last a lifetime. Cleveland Exteriors, your trusted partner for exceptional windows. Visit clevelandexteriors.com or call today. Mayfield Dairy, celebrating 100 years of the iconic Mayfield ice cream at mayfielddairy.com. Proudly headquartered in Athens, Tennessee. Mix 1041 is celebrating 30 years of being on air. We are celebrating by giving away 30 prizes over 30 weeks. Presented by TVFCU Mortgage. Register today at MyMix1041.com. Welcome to Mountain View Nissan Country, where automotive excellence is our top priority. At Mountain View Nissan, we take pride in offering you the finest selection of vehicles, perfectly suited for your adventurous spirit. From powerful SUVs ready to conquer any terrain to your everyday gas-friendly commuters, we have the perfect vehicle to match your lifestyle. This is Mountain View Nissan Country, where automotive dreams become reality. Visit one of our three locations in Dalton, Chattanooga, and Cleveland today and let us take your driving experience to new peaks. Breathe. There is a place where strength, play, community, and belonging meet where all are welcome, with membership solutions for everyone, regardless of ability to pay. Join the Y now through September 30th and pay no joining fee. The Y, the place for all. A name and brand that you can trust. Wholesale Supply has been serving the Southeast for over 75 years. Whether you need plumbing, electrical, or HVAC supplies, Wholesale Supply can provide you with the products that you need to complete any job, big or small. Supplying brands such as Kohler, Delta, Renai, Progress Lighting, and so many more. With 32 locations across the Southeast, Wholesale Supply is your hometown plumbing, electrical, and HVAC supplier. To find a location near you, visit WholesaleSupply.us. And remember, Wholesale Supply is open Monday through Friday and open to the public. Save a bundle at Eller and Owens Furniture and Mattress. Furniture, mattresses, and decor. The more you buy, the more you save. Up to 40% off. Create a bundle, a sofa and chairs, end tables, a recliner, lamps and rugs, an entire room, up to 40% off. Create a custom bundle and watch the savings grow, up to 40% off. Look for Take Me Home Today tags, bundle in stock items. Special financing is available. Bundle and save at Eller and Owens Furniture and Mattress. Dot com. We held a uh, contest yesterday afternoon on the Mix Afternoon Drive, driven by Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland. And uh, we gave away, uh, we were taking entries for UT tickets, and this is folks from yesterday afternoon, not to 
I know this audience, we can confuse you really easy. <laughs> so uh, this is yesterday afternoon's contest. Bridget, who wins those? That winner is Allison Young. Congratulations. All right, Allison, we'll be in touch, but I hope you're ready to play. You may be called <laughs> on to play because mm -hmm. UT is so bad, okay? Mm -hmm. no, 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 hey, Allison, I'm not doubting your football abilities, okay? <laughs> just, just say it right there. We are, and so we got another, actually our final pair of UT tickets at a giveaway. We're doing that, uh, the giveaway at 8 a.m. You can keep calling, texting, uh, one entry per person. Either that or we'll trap you in a room with Dr. Baylor Terrell and uh, make you talk to him for an hour. <laughs> so uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to talk to you about Michigan football. You want to win the UT tickets for tomorrow, call or text 423-614-6499. Don't forget, if you're texting the cell with Darren Miller text line, then uh, we need your name and put Tata Z on it. Tata Z! You think the mattress business is competitive? You bet it is. And no matter how many out-of-town chains come to town, Mermaid Mattress will always be your local place to get a better mattress at a better price. For today, we do have some areas of patchy fog. We'll have partly cloudy skies later today, a high of 84 and a low of 56 tonight. For tomorrow, sunny skies, a high of 82 and a low of 54. Sunny on Sunday with a high of 83. Your current Simply Bank temperature is 55 degrees. This weather forecast is brought to you by Ph.D. Pharmacy, Keith Street near Harrison Pike. Free delivery within a 50-mile radius of Cleveland. Call Gina Mosier-Patterson today at 423-614-6650. I'm Donna. And I'm Melissa. And we, and we listen. listen. Paula, tell us about how you came to shop at Chattanooga Auto Square. Well, I was introduced to it from my husband. He purchased his first Range Rover years ago. And then occasionally I'd start asking him if I could start driving it. I would confidently recommend them. I mean, they make you feel like family from the moment you arrive. Being in real estate for like 34 years, you really come to value and appreciate the level of service that Range Rover gives you. Chattanooga Auto Square, luxury lives here. You need money overnight, check in to cash, your time is tight, dot com. Bank account's too low, check in to cash, so where do you go, dot com. Do it online in a record time, it's the easy way to get money next day. Do a quick click from home at check in to cash, dot com. You can be sure it's secure from our bank straight to yours. Do a quick click from home at check in to cash, dot com. Boom. Hey, listeners, there's a new buzz Tuesdays at noon, the voice of We the People. It's about what the H is going on in America. Tune in and call in Tuesdays on 101.3 The Buzz. A seatbelt is required for this ride. The summer sales event is on at Cleveland Ford, and I'm here to tell you the car business is back. Cleveland Ford's inventory is back with over 100 new Fords in stock. Discounts are back, so prices are down, interest rates are down, and rebates are up. In addition to all that, Cleveland Ford has up to $2,000 in trade assistance cash available that you can use as a down payment or to pay off your trade. So hurry into Cleveland Ford today, because with all they've got going on, now is the time to buy. Peyton Southeastern is hiring. You have the potential to earn over $21 an hour with new progressive pay rates, a $2 night shift premium, plus you're eligible to earn a $5,000 stay bonus. Peyton's in Cleveland has open interviews every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 9 to 11 a.m. and then from 1 to 3 p.m. Apply online at jobs.kroger.com to work at Peyton Southeastern in Cleveland. I told my son to find me the nicest place to live in Cleveland. He said, Dad, there's only one place, and that's Garden Plaza. And I moved into the patio home. Everybody knows your name from day one, and there's something to do all day long if you want to participate in it. You cannot possibly be bored at Garden Plaza. It is just great, and our food is outstanding. It's out of this world. And I'm so happy I'm here. Garden Plaza is it for me. Choosing the right health care plan for you and your family can be overwhelming. Direct Primary Care Associates' new pharmacy benefits is the best choice for you and your family. With personalized attention, convenient telemedicine options, and free generic medications, Direct Primary Care Associates' pharmacy benefits offers everything you need to keep you and your family healthy and happy. Say goodbye to long wait times, rushed appointments, and unexpected medical bills. Visit our website to learn more about how Direct Primary Care Associates can provide the best health care experience for you and your family. Direct Primary Care Associates, affordable health care for all. Uh, 
uh, excuse me, Fire and Rescue Battalion Commander has now resigned. James Clayton Smith, age 48, been employed by the fire department since 2009, submitted his letter of resignation on Thursday. He was charged by Bradley County Grand Jury August 16th and arrested on uh, uh, September 3rd, arranged September 11th, and the Cleveland Daily Banner reporting through an open records request that uh, through a letter uh, in his personnel file uh, from the interim uh, fire and rescue chief, Jeff Stewart, the management of CBC allege an incident occurred uh, where uh, James Smith was accused of touching a waitress inappropriately, caught on camera, and that is the incident. There was a previous incident with Smith in Polk County, who had been on already been on unpaid administrative leave. State unemployment rates out this morning near historic lows as uh, in unemployment, 93 of the 95 Tallahassee counties uh, saw a, uh, a, a drop in unemployment for the month of August. Bradley County's unemployment rate stands at 3.6 percent. All right, uh, that is local and state news. Full detail at the top of the hour, 723. This news update brought to you by Cleveland Plywood Company, 2700 20th Street Northeast in Cleveland. Our budget, a big Simmons uh, Bank celebration list this morning. Yeah, that's right. My cousin, Melissa Harper, she is celebrating her birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Missy. Also, Michael Mayfield is having a birthday tomorrow as well up at Mayfield Farm Park, and On it's the, opening weekend I there. Say the season premiere tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. So if you're going out to Mayfield Farm Park, where we're going to give away more tickets next hour, uh, make sure and wish Michael a big happy birthday. That's now, right. He'll stand and talk to you for about <laughs> an hour and a half, he but will. it's okay. It's fine. Herb Bean is going to be 95 tomorrow. Happy birthday to him. Jim Workman, Bender Realty, he is having a birthday today. County Commissioner Mylon Blake is having a birthday today. He says he hopes his Bama beats Ole Miss this weekend. Sharon Marr uh, is having a birthday today at Main Street, Cleveland. Also, Kelly Paul is having a birthday today at Bender Realty and also Debbie Todd Line. That is from her husband, Todd. Lee McChesney celebrating on Sunday over at Cleveland State. Linda Lundy is going to be 75 on Sunday. This is Gideon uh, that works here, his grandmother. Don Cross is going to be 72 tomorrow. That is from his wife. Joyce Bullard is going to be 87 tomorrow. That is from her son, who says she is the strongest woman he knows. Tylen Hobbs is having a birthday today, a seventh grader at Cleveland Middle. He is active uh, with his church at First Baptist. Axton Agar is going to be 13 on Sunday, a 7th grader at Lake Forest Middle School, plays trombone in the band, and is going to be playing Buddy the Elf in the fall musical coming up. Also, Addison Cole is going to be 3 years old tomorrow. She loves Barbie, Mermaids, and Paw Patrol. Brooklyn Cross is going to be 10 years old tomorrow. That is for Mom, Dad, Jay, and Jackson. Also, Shirley Maynard is having a birthday today. That's from her good friend, Melissa Brewer. Maria Maxwell is going to be 29 tomorrow. Taylor Fugit is having a birthday on Sunday. She teaches kindergarten at Michigan Avenue. Logan and Holly Melton, they're celebrating their fourth wedding anniversary today. Levi Kelly is going to be 18 tomorrow, a student at Cleveland State. That is from Mom and the crew. And then Chelsea Hancock is 33 today, a teacher at Waterville. Call in your birthdays and wedding anniversaries to us. We'll take those for today, tomorrow, and Sunday. The Volunteer Ritapest Mix Line is 614-6499. You can also text us at that same number on the cell with Darren text line. Darren Miller, EXP Realty. Go to our website, MyMix1041.com, or download our free Mix1041 app. It's the Simmons Bank celebration list. At Simmons Bank, they are with you every step of the way. Call Ken Dew, 423-381-3427. It's uh, 725. Dr. Baylor Terrell joins us. How are you, Baylor? I'm good, Steve. How are you guys? Good, buddy. And uh, all right, so you're now officially at the Center for Cosmetic Dentistry with your grandfather, Dr. Ken Beard with your, I guess, your uncle, Dr. Brian Beard. You just told me off the air, this is a dream come true. Yeah, man. Um, this has been what I wanted to do since I was 14 years old. And so to, to see all the hard work and all the long days uh, finally come to fruition, it's been, it's been really, really cool. And, you know, I'm in a uh, really unique uh, setting, being able to work with my grandfather and my uncle. Uh, you know, I think my grandfather hung the moon. Uh, I mean, it's been really cool the last couple months. So I've been back since about June. Um, and, and just hearing all these patients that have been coming to him for years and just seeing how he's changed their life and how he's invested in them. And, and just all the good things they have to say, it's, it just makes me know that it's not just my bias.
guys because he's my grandfather, man. He really is that special of a dude. And then getting to work with my my uncle, um, you know, Brian's been able to teach me a lot of different things just in the last three months. And, and kind of, you know, they spent the last 30 and 50 years perfecting their craft and being able to pass on that knowledge to me so that, um, you know, I can help people in the community. It, it's really, really awesome. And and not to mention working with your mother. Oh, by the way, in case anybody out there is wondering, she absolutely loves having her new boss at the office. So. Yeah. Oh. Okay, all right. So, uh, but it is, I mean, it, it is a fa truly a family business. Yes, sir. Uh, and my cousin Blakely's there as well, and Blakely and I are three months apart. Um, so she's more like my sister. So, yeah, I mean, it's a it's a big family affair. I always joke with everybody and say, I didn't choose this profession, it chose me. Um, That's right. I, I've been entangled in it my whole life, and uh, now that I'm actually being able to be a part of it and, and contribute to the family practice, man, it's really awesome. Joined by Dr. Baylor Terrell, who's joined uh, his family at the Center for Cosmetic Dentistry. You know, something I've always admired about your grandfather, uh, who I admire in life itself, Dr. Ken Beard, your grandmother, Judy, still the bookkeeper, by the way. That's right. Be good to Judy Beard. Uh, she's the smartest one, by the way. Uh, listen, uh, one thing I've always admired is with, with Ken and Brian, you know, they, they could just say, hey, you know, we hang, we've hung this shingle up for all these years. But you know what? They continue to get training, and they continue to stay up to date on the latest, don't they? Yeah, they do. Um, you know, that's been something that's really cool for me is, you know, I got out in, I guess, May or June, and they've already sent me on a couple courses to kind of get me up to speed, and then we also all got to go on uh, one to um, Las Vegas for the mini dental implants that we do, um, and I believe we're going back on another one in November. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they are always staying uh, up to date with everything, and, uh, you know, I think it really provides the best services possible to our patients, and for me to be able to go on those courses and learn that stuff too at such a young age out of school um, and it's it's I can't put a price on it well Judy Beard can but that's a whole <laughs> other story no <laughs> joined by Dr. Uh, Baylor Darrell uh, so uh, so look uh, what so what do you tell people what do you say you know what uh, I, I mean what can you do for people and and, and what are you looking forward to most about them coming to the Center for Cosmetic Dentistry? Yeah, well, I think the biggest thing is my, my grandfather started this practice about 50 years ago. And so I'm in a really cool, you know, I've already said this, but I'm in a really cool position of being able con to continue his legacy, but then also kind of build my own brand. Um, and that's really what I'm striving for and, um, you know, being able to be in the practice and see how they handle patients and see how they handle procedures and see how they do things. Um, you know, to be to be in a, a business for 50 years, you obviously have to be doing something pretty successful. Um, and, and it's not just my grandfather and my uncle, man. The girls that we have at the office are awesome. Uh, the assistants, the ladies that work up front, um, you know, interacting with patients and taking care of patients. And, uh, man, we, our staff is awesome. And, I, you know, I always joke with them because now, you know, they call me Dr. Baylor and stuff. And I'm like, guys, you all are calling me Dr. Baylor, and half of y'all probably changed my diaper. So, <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's an adjustment for me for sure. Yeah. Um, just because, you know, yeah, I've known these girls at the office for so long um, and then also getting to work with family and like I said being my mom's boss is it, it really is a dream come true and you know I tell all my patients that I've gotten to work with this far you know I'm not I'm never going to send them out the door no I didn't and take the best uh, possible care of them that I could um, and as long as they know that um, I you know I, I can go to sleep at night and sleep easy so uh, Dr. Baylor Terrell has joined the family business he has uh, the last few months, and uh, we're so glad to have you in this morning. I guess people can go to the website or call and, I mean, get more information about the office. Yeah, for sure, and one of the big reasons I wanted to come on here is I think fall break week, I think that's October 9th through 13th, check me on that and make sure. Six, but yeah. Uh, whichever week that is. Um, the we're gonna, ninth, you're, it's your Yeah, I think it's the 9th to the 13th. We're going to be running some specials at the office. Um, I'm going to read these off my phone so I make Wait, sure go, I get go them. Go right ahead. ahead. Okay. Go right ahead. So the, the first one is we're going to be doing 10% off all treatment that week um, for the wow. week of fall break. Um, we're going to be doing $75 new patient exams. Um, we're going to be doing $500 off Invisalign. Um, and then also we have another option called Reveal um, that if somebody can't afford the Invisalign, it's another option that's cheaper and more affordable, and we're going to be looking into doing some of those as well. And then lastly, we'll be doing $100 off uh, bleaching. So just wow. some kind of some specials that week to kind of try to get some new patients in the door, and uh, it'd, be, it'd be my privilege to be able to take care of you. All right, that sounds wonderful. It's the Center for Cosmetics. Cosmetic Dentistry. Dr. Baylor Terrell, you think uh, you think your dogs can handle Ball State tomorrow night? You mean UAB. UAB? Yeah, I think so. I hope so. It's UAB? It is UAB. Okay. Ball State was two weeks ago, I think. Yeah, because okay, last week was South schedule. So UAB tomorrow night. Yep, UAB at home. Sorry, I'm getting all these I, listen, if you are, major opponents confused. I was about to say, I don't think they cover those. So, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, right. I, I don't think they cover your, your uncle used to come in here talking all these 
all these uh, odds before legal, sport, uh, sports betting was legal. Oh yeah, in most states. So yeah. uh, I didn't understand. What I remember doing. I came in a couple of times with him when I was in yeah. when I was actually uh, in between Georgia and going to dental school. Yeah, uh, I remember I, we come in here and shoot the shoot the bull on on some Fridays and pick games for the weekend. Yeah, so. exactly right. Uh, and then uh, this will get. I'm glad you're coming. This will give your uncle more time on TikTok. <laughs> So, uh, God love him. I know they're trying to get me on that, and I'm like, ah. Uh, uh, I'll let Brian have that. TikTok He's a lot better at it than me. TikTok and, uh, TikTok and dog shows. Right. So, anyway. Hey, Doc, good to see you, buddy. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Awesome. I appreciate you guys. And, uh, like I said, come see us that week of the uh, fall break for all those specials that we're running. Center for Cosmetic Dentistry. Big specials. Dr. Baylor Terrell. All right, Bridget. Get a check of... Uh, Traffic, what's up? Okay, this Don Ledford Cleveland Mix Highway Patrol report is brought to you by Don Ledford in Cleveland. It's year end model closeout time, and Don Ledford Chevrolet is saying yes to low interest rates and bonus cash during Chevy Truck Month in September. That's at Don Ledford Chevrolet, Northley Highway in Cleveland, and anytime at donledford.com. We have no reports of any accidents this morning. Drive safely out there as you make your way in. And as always, if you see a traffic problem, give us a call. The Volunteer Ridapest Mix Line is 614-6499. You can also text us at that same number on the Sell with Darren text line. That's Darren Miller, EXP Realty. This traffic report is brought to you by Southland Finance. They have recently relocated to a larger, more convenient branch at 950 25th Street in Cleveland at the intersection of Peerless Road. Their team, operating hours, and services have not changed. Call them at 423-458-3007. We'll check your Mermaid Mattress Weather Center forecast coming up. It's game on at Cleveland. Ford and our team is ready to serve you. If it's a Mix 1041 and Honda Cleveland are giving one deserving firefighter in our area a chance to win a 2023 Honda Civic. Nominate your favorite firefighter today at mymix1041.com. Did you know that drinking and driving is a leading cause of traffic fatalities? It kills more than 28 people in the United States every day. That means one person every 52 minutes. Statistically, young people are the most at risk to drink and drive, but not everyone's doing it. Don't drink and drive. Attention shoppers, learn more about our picky promise. This produce looks amazing, and it smells so fresh. Food City is as picky about produce as I am, and that's hard to do. But they make it look easy with their picky promise. If it's ever not fresh, they'll replace it. That's cool. And I thought their helpful certified butchers were the coolest thing about this place. It's all here. Nobody does food like Food City. This is John Davis, the trade-in man for Kia Cleveland on South Lee Highway, and we will overpay for your old car today. High mileage, cosmetic issues, that's okay. Rusted, busted, can't be trusted, all trade-ins are welcome. Just bring us your old car as is. Don't even wash it. You'll be shocked of how much I'm willing to pay for your old car in any condition. Come see me, John Davis, the trade-in man for Kia Cleveland on South Lee Highway in beautiful Cleveland, Tennessee, where selling your car is as easy as one, two, three. Hardy's two for five dollar breakfast baked goodness into your morning. Choose a biscuit with sausage and egg, biscuit and gravy, or a country fried steak biscuit. Any two, just five dollars. Hardy's goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. Thank you for calling Logan Thompson. This is Ashley. You're watching Mix Mornings on Mix TV. Here is your current Kia of Cleveland time. And your current temperature is brought to you by Simply Bank. Queen mattress is on sale now for only $499. A mattress you can flip and rotate just like you used to, but only at Mermaid Mattress. 
For today, we'll have partly cloudy skies, a high of 84 and a low of 56 this evening. For tomorrow, sunny skies, a high of 82 and a low of 54. And then on Sunday, sunny skies with a high of 83. Your current Simply Bank temperature is 55 degrees. Aubrey's of Cleveland offers some of the most fresh and delicious foods in East Tennessee. Stop in tonight for dinner or order online at aubreysrestaurant.com. Click the Cleveland location and order there. All right, Mix 1041 736. Let's go inside the CHI Memorial Sports Desk. CHI Memorial Hello Human Kindness Sports Report is sponsored by the Town Squire. Don't forget, Larry reminds that the Town Squire is your high school football ticket. Uh, headquarters and ticket hub for 46 years. Uh, they have uh, Town Squire has all your early football tickets for tonight's Cleveland, Bradley, and Walker Valley game. Have you checked out the Town Squire selection of UT sportswear for the 2023 football season? From polos, t-shirts, socks, sports shirts, and quarter zips. Volunteer traditions, Cutter and Buck, Peter Millar, and now Turtleson, and Johnny O. Since 1977, your headquarters for men's clothing attire. Locally owned and operated, the Town Squire, Stewart Park Plaza, Key Street, Cleveland, Tennessee, is the shop that appreciates the customer since 1977. Home of personal service and free gift wrapping. All right, uh, good morning, everybody. Braves beat the Nationals last night, 10-3, and will be in Washington this weekend. No coverage tonight. Coverage uh, Saturday and Sunday, driven by Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland. NFL Thursday night football last night. The San Francisco 49ers are 3-0. Defeated the Giants 30 to 12. X1041 is Southeast Tennessee's football headquarters, supplied by Wholesale Supply Group. A hey, Joe Cannon in the uh, Cleveland Daily Banner on Thursday reported that the our three local high school football teams have the best combined start uh, since Walker Valley uh, became a school in uh, 2001. They're 12 and two combined, and those losses were against each other. Man, what a start. Number eight, Cleveland High School, a host Red Bank tonight, 7 o'clock, right here, Mix 1041 and the Mix 1041 app. That's again at uh, these all three are home games. Bradley will host uh, Heritage of Georgia, Ringo, Georgia, tonight, kickoff 7 o'clock. Carry on the Earl Roy and on Tog, 1013, the Buzz and the Mix app. Number 11 in the state poll, Walker Valley will host Ray County tonight. Kickoff at 7 o'clock. Uh, Andy Morris, Jacob Mason will have it. 99.1 FM and the Mix app. Hardy's Friday Night Blitz, the 20th anniversary season. Following the games tonight, all the scores, your phone calls, and much more. The easiest way to do it, folks, is go to the Southeast Tennessee Football Headquarters page of the of our app, the Mix app. Download for free at mymix1041.com. All the scores, all the streams right there of all three games locally. Other games tonight. It will be uh, Utawa at McMinn County. Megs County at Chattanooga Central tonight. Also, uh, let's see here. Uh, Copper Basin will be at Whitwell tonight. NBA Montgomery Bell Academy at Chattanooga McCauley. Whitwood Academy at Chattanooga Baylor tonight. It's 1041, your home of the balls, presented by TVFCU. UT hosts Texas San Antonio tomorrow, 4 o'clock, right here, Mix 1041. And the Mix app. We'll begin our pregame with SEC Saturday, presented by CHI Memorial. Jason Cox, Josh Rogers, and myself uh, tomorrow, starting at 1.30. Shelton still in parts unknown. So uh, that's tomorrow. Now, we are giving away Tennessee tickets, uh, a pair of tickets to the game in Knoxville tomorrow. You've got 20 minutes. We're going to give these away at 8 a.m. We'll announce the winner. Call or text. Call the volunteer Red Pass Mix line, 423-614-6499. Or text the Sell with Darren Miller text line, Darren Miller at EXP Realty, sellwithdarren.com. If you're texting us, make sure and put your name on it and uh, just put Tennessee. Boy, it's a huge, best best uh, college football Saturday of the season so far. Uh, noon game, Florida State and Clemson. 3.30 tomorrow, listen to this. You've got the story of the college football season thus far. Colorado and Deion Sanders and their toughest test yet. They'll be at Oregon at 3.30 Bridget, do you believe? 
in Neon Dion Primetime Sanders. Bridget says she doesn't know. Well, Coca, step on the mic there. She's over here setting up for uh, for Spangler and uh, and uh, Garrett. Of course, you would go to the mic. I don't have on. But go ahead. Got a feeling about this one. I don't know. No, I said no. You're I'll, on the fence. I don't know if they can do it or not. I'm going with Oregon. You're going with Oregon. Mm-hmm. I am. Prime time is going to go to Oregon. They're going to win. They're going to win again. You think? They're okay. going to win again. We'll see. They're going to win all night long, baby. <laughs> They're going to win all night long, baby. <laughs> and uh, uh, Shadir, is it Shadir, his son, he's going to win the Heisman. Oh, we're all, we <laughs> all in on Colorado. We're going to jump on that bandwagon, baby. <laughs> All right, now, uh, Florida State, Clemson, Colorado, Oregon, Ole Miss, and Alabama. Hey, uh, happy birthday, Commissioner Milan Blake. I picked Alabama tomorrow, but uh, uh, the two Stooges, uh, Cox and uh, Rogers, picked Ole Miss. That's a little teaser for tomorrow. We taped it like two years ago. Uh, Let's see here, Iowa and Penn State, and then the game really of the weekend is Ohio State, or tomorrow, Ohio State at Notre Dame. Um, who do I? Who who do you have there? Ohio State, Notre Dame, Bridget. What do you think? Mm. Hang on, I got to get your mic on. Go ahead. Mm, I guess I'll go Ohio State. Fine, I'll go with Notre Dame. I okay. was going to go with Ohio State, <laughs> okay. but I'll go with Notre Dame. Uh, my buddy uh, Tom Rollins, a big fan of the Town Squire of. Uh, oh, well, he's from Ohio, matter of fact. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so we got all that. Uh, 99.1 FM, your home of the dogs, presented by uh, S- a Wholesale Supply Group. Thanks to uh, Dr. Baylor Terrell correcting us. They're actually playing. Tell Felton. Felton had it wrong in the calendar. Uh, it was his birthday this week, so apparently he took off. Georgia is playing UAB. Yeah, let's not confuse our major opponents here. <laughs> UAB, I'll be loving UAB, but, uh, you know, UAB football's back. Does uh, You know what? I think Trent Dilfer is their coach down there, actually, former uh, Super Bowl winning quarterback. Is that right? Titans at the Browns Sunday, 1 o'clock. Uh, Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland will do that. And then NASCAR Sunday at Texas 2.30 Talk. 101.3 The Buzz with Dale's Heating and Air. Stand by. When most people think of plumbing and electrical supply. You get a yearly checkup. Shouldn't your air? With your local Lennox dealer, regular care equals perfect air. With technology you can touch. Comfortable air you can feel. And savings you can see. Not just perfect air. Perfect for you, Air. Call Dale's Heating and Air to upgrade your air today. Lennox. Air is life. Make it perfect. Mayfield Dairy, celebrating 100 years of the iconic Mayfield ice cream at MayfieldDairy.com, proudly headquartered in Athens, Tennessee. Mix 1041 is celebrating 30 years of being on air. We are celebrating by giving away 30 prizes over 30 weeks. Presented by TVFCU Mortgage. Register today at MyMix1041.com. Welcome to Mountain View Nissan Country, where automotive excellence is our top priority. At Mountain View Nissan, we take pride in offering you the finest selection of vehicles, perfectly suited for your adventurous spirit. From powerful SUVs ready to conquer any terrain to your everyday gas-friendly commuters, we have the perfect vehicle to match your lifestyle. This is Mountain View Nissan Country, where automotive dreams become reality. Visit one of our three locations in Dalton, Chattanooga, and Cleveland today. And let us take your driving experience to new peaks. Bender Realty is helping to keep the community thriving during this pandemic by offering no-contact online tools for buyers and sellers in the real estate market. Especially in this day and time with COVID, um, it makes a lot of the buyers are not wanting to get out and walk into someone else's home and even sellers may not want people in their home. We can actually do a virtual tour with our phones and send it to our clients. 
walk through a property without having to actually be there and, and see all the intricacies of the property and the things that they may or may not want. If you're looking to buy, sell, lease, or rent, trust your friends at Bender Realty. 472-2173. Bender-Realty.com. Be home with Bender Realty. Cleveland Tire is ready to help your auto any way it can. We're one of the largest providers of Bridgestone and Firestone tire dealers in the area. We sell all major brand tires. We have ASE certified mechanics on staff six days a week. We also have a commercial truck tire center that provides 24-hour roadside service and minor mechanical repairs on site. We have built our reputation on years of quality, affordable work, and tires. We pride ourselves in customer satisfaction and great service. Cleveland Tire Center. 20 years later, we've grown in many ways, but never out of that same customer first heart to serve. Doing the right thing simply because it's right will earn your business the right way every day, every year, offering permanent steel roofing and siding at competitive prices, keeping promises, staying on time for both deliveries and pickups, making things right when we come up short. Partners like you are the reason Best Buy Metals exists. Thank you for the opportunity to serve you. Come see us! Hey listeners, there's a new buzz Tuesdays at noon. The voice of We the People. It's about what the H is going on in America. Tune in and call in Tuesdays on 101.3 The Buzz. A seatbelt is required for this ride. The summer sales event is on at Cleveland Ford and the car business is back. Inventory's back, discounts are back, and interest rates are down. Cleveland Ford even has trade-in assistance cash available. So hurry to Cleveland Ford today because now is the time to buy. I told my son to find me the nicest place to live in Cleveland. He said, Dad, there's only one place, and that's Garden Plaza. And I moved into the patio home. Everybody knows your name from day one, and there's something to do all day long if you want to participate in it. You cannot possibly be bored at Garden Plaza. It is just great, and our food is outstanding. It's out of this world. And I'm so happy I'm here. Garden Plaza is it for me. This is John Davis, the trade-in man for Kia Cleveland on South Lee Highway, and we will overpay for your old car today. High mileage, cosmetic issues, that's okay. Rusted, busted, can't be trusted, all trade-ins are welcome. Just bring us your old car as is. Don't even wash it. You'll be shocked of how much I'm willing to pay for your old car in any condition. Come see me, John Davis, the trade-in man for Kia Cleveland on South Lee Highway in beautiful Cleveland, Tennessee, where selling your car is as easy as one, two, three. Hardy's two for five dollar breakfast bake goodness into your morning. Choose a biscuit with sausage and egg, biscuit and gravy, or a country fried steak biscuit. Any two, just five dollars. Hardy's goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. Peyton Southeastern is hiring. You have the potential to earn over $21 an hour with new progressive pay rates, a $2 night shift premium, plus you're eligible to earn a $5,000 stay bonus. Peyton's in Cleveland has open interviews every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 9 to 11 a.m. and then from 1 to 3 p.m. Apply online at jobs.kroger.com to work at Peyton Southeastern in Cleveland. Her Sundays. And minus all of his vacation days. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's on the right. Johnny Carson schedule. <laughs> it is 11 minutes before 8 a.m. Coming up, yeah, these guys here, voice of the Bears, Hall of Famer Gary Owenby, and principal of Bradley Central High School, uh, Patrick Springer. They've got a big announcement in just a second. But, Bridget, I tell you, we got a bunch of birthdays. <laughs> It's a huge Simmons uh, Bank celebration list. I want to go over to you first. Okay, happy birthday to my cousin, Melissa Harper. She's celebrating her birthday tomorrow. Notice, of course, guys, that leads the list. Top of the list, yeah, of that, course. That, that, <laughs> it, that uh, uh, Bridget does not have to get her anything. <laughs> that is it. That's the gift. She's like, I'll get you on first for yeah, the birthday. Yeah. She is the Ricky Henderson <laughs> of the list. Here we go. Happy birthday, Missy. Michael Mayfield celebrating his birthday tomorrow, but Mayfield Farm Park, where it's opening weekend this weekend. Right. Happy birthday. Michael Herb Bean is going to be 95 tomorrow. Jim Workman, owner of Bender Realty, celebrating his birthday today. County Commissioner Mylon Blake is celebrating today. He says he hopes his Bama beats Ole Miss tomorrow. Sharon Marr at Main Street Cleveland celebrating a birthday today. Kelly Paul at Bender Realty and also Debbie Taunt Salon celebrating today. That's from her husband, Todd. I love Kelly Paul. Wonderful. Yeah, she's great. 
just saw her the other day. Okay. Lee well, McChesney. Let's hear more about that. <laughs> Lee McChesney celebrating on Sunday over at Cleveland State. Linda Lundy is going to be 75 on Sunday. That's Gideon that works here. This is his grandmother. Don Cross is 72 tomorrow from his wife. Joyce Bullard is going to be 87 tomorrow. That is from her son, who says she is the strongest woman he knows. Tylen Hobbs is having a birthday today, a seventh grader at Cleveland Middle, and he is very active at his church, First Baptist. Axton Agar is going to be 13. Say for loving good. <laughs> <laughs> Axton Agar is going to be 13 on Sunday, a seventh grader at Lake Forest. He plays trombone in the band and will be playing Buddy the Elf in the fall musical. Addison Cole is going to be three tomorrow. She loves Barbie, Mermaids, and Paw Patrol. Brooklyn Cross is going to be 10 tomorrow. That's from Mom, Dad, Jay, and Jackson. Shirley Maynard is having a birthday today from her good friend, Melissa Brewer. Maria Maxwell is going to be 29 tomorrow. Taylor Fugit is well, having a birthday. Well, Maria, I heard it's 29 again. 29 okay, holding. Let's be honest here. <laughs> Taylor Fugit having a birthday on Sunday. She teaches kindergarten at Michigan Avenue. Logan and Holly Melton, they are celebrating their fourth wedding anniversary today. Levi Kelly is going to be 18 tomorrow, a student at Cleveland State. That is from Mom and the Crew. Chelsea Hancock is 33 today, a teacher at Waterville. Joanne Lewis is celebrating today. That is from Pastor Lewis. Michael and Brooke True Love, they are celebrating their 16th wedding anniversary today. William Myolin is going to be 60 tomorrow. Pearl Russell is having a birthday on Sunday. Brandon Jensen is having a birthday today along with Jerry Long. And then Ben Taylor and Eli Taylor, they are twins celebrating their 16th birthdays tomorrow. Their dad, Josh Taylor, Bradley County School Board member and also LMB Appliance sent that in to us. Their students at Bradley Central. Call Hello, your... uh, Patrick Spangler, Principal Bradley is proud of you, Bridget. You learned to read your senior year at Bradley. I did. So uh, <laughs> this is wonderful, Patrick. <laughs> Listen, that was a that was a, quite the list. It is this morning. So you guys I, I thought she did a really really good. Job. <laughs> Thank you. Know, Thank you. Uh, her and her mom worked on those uh, phonics uh, books quite a while there. All right. You're, we you know, we did. We used to live close to each other. Well, I know so, your neighbors. So, so mm -hmm. I think it was our parents that got us to read. You know. So mm -hmm. you know. She's it, doing it, man. I'm gonna tell you, and we're all proud of her. I know that. All right, Patrick. Come on. All right, calling your birthdays and now wedding anniversaries to us. Here. We start adding the numbers and the letters in, then we get to have a little fun. Today, tomorrow, and yeah. Sunday, we'll take those on the Volunteer Rita Pest Mix Line, 614-6499. You can also text us at that same number on the Cell with Darren text line, Darren Miller EXP Realty. Go to our website, mymix1041.com, or download our free Mix1041 app. It's the Simmons Bank Celebration List. At Simmons Bank, they have something for everyone to help you manage your finances with ease and security. Call Jamie Kyle, 423-381-3429. Patrick Spangler, the principal of Bradley Central High School. Gary on be the voice of the Bears. Good morning, gentlemen. Good, Good morning. morning. All right, I'm just going to turn it over to you. I know we've got some things to talk about this morning. Yeah, we're just we're just extremely excited. Uh, we're coming this morning to uh, announce our Hall of Fame class, our first ever Hall of Fame class wow. for Bradley Central High School. Uh, we're in our 108th year uh, this year, and so uh, as as you know, there's so much history and so much tradition, and and and, and I think what's so special about this is 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 we know that well now we get to recognize that now we get to come out publicly and and begin to start recognize and it's been something that's kind of been uh, in conversations really all through out the um, I'm in my fifth year as principal um, at Bradley and so it's been something that's kind of been uh, discussed but you know there's a lot of parts to getting this thing off the ground and you know I can't say thank you enough to to Gary Oinby and Earl Rowan who are co-chair co-chairs of the of the committee and non-voting members and just um, my team at Bradley Central High School my administrative team just kind of doing the back office things and really just this committee. This committee is made up of special, special people um, that took time out of their busy schedules to come in and just, you know, really, really dissect everything and get this, get this kicked off. And so, um, and so I'm, I'm telling you for, for me personally, um, as a Bradley alum uh, and someone that loves Bradley Central High School and, and, and graduated, played, taught now, and, and now have the opportunity to be the principal, it's just special to me. Um, um, I, I love the history of it. I love looking through annuals. I love talking to people um, that, that may have been there in the 60s. And, and, and so it's just, it's a special, special morning for me um, as we get to recognize um, this Let me say very serious, I'm honored that you came to do it here. Thank you very much. Well, that's a place to start here. Uh, a lot of folks are listening in. And we, this year we put in seven members. 
Uh, we had many, many uh, suggestions and submissions for uh, consideration, and a lot of those folks will be on future uh, Hall of Fame uh, elections. So if you if you're not there this year, you're going to be there if you're worthy. Now this the Hall of Fame is for the cream of the crop, the best of the very best, and we'll start you know with with Paul Kahn was one of the first. Dr. Paul Kahn, how in the world could you go wrong with putting Paul Kahn, who went to Bradley, graduated in 63, got his degree, got his doctor's degree from Emory, came back to, to Lee as a uh, instructor, then became professor, then became the president in 1986, 34 years, the longest serving member ever in Tennessee for college or university as president. That's the thing some people may not know. But, of course, we know we wrote all the books, 20-something books, and made four in the top ten. Uh, he saw the expansion of the campus in ways that uh, we never dreamed would happen. It's a beautiful campus. And he grew the uh, enrollment from over 1,000 to over 5,000 full-time students now. So he's very worthy. And uh, Dr. Paul Kahn, and, and go ahead and tell him, you want to mention when we're going to have the uh, celebration. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're so, so we're going to have the, uh, the banquet on December 7th um, at 6 p.m. Um, and we'll send all this information out in a press release uh, with a bio and pictures of each of the inductees um, later on this morning. But um, December 6th at the Pi Center, uh, and so 6 p.m. Uh, excuse 7th. me, December 7th. That's why I have him Thursday. with me. That, that's why I have him with me. Yeah, exactly. So, so again, no, numbers and letters. That, that, that's right. We struggle with those, right, Bridget? But we're going to get better. <laughs> we're getting better. So, uh, but no, that Thursday night we'll have a banquet um, that will be open to the public and be looking for uh, ways to purchase your tickets for that um, event. And then um, on that Friday night, uh, December eighth, we will honor this group uh, at the Bradley Cleveland uh, basketball game. Oh, so. Wow. Rex Dockery is the next member. Rex Dockery, John Rex Dockery, we call him Rex, played at Bradley as a football player and went to Bradley as a student, went to Tennessee, made all um, state at Tennessee, or all state at Bradley, all American at Tennessee, became a head coach. I traveled with Steve Sloan as assistant coach for a while, went to head coach at Texas Tech, came back to Memphis uh, State University at the time, which is now University of Memphis, and was tragically killed in a plane crash one evening, flying to Lawrenceburg as a keynote speaker to speak at a football banquet named the Player of the Year for Tennessee. And his legacy goes on forever, and that whole family of the Dockeries and the Mulls and so forth. And um, Memphis football field is named the Rex Dockery Field. We had uh, Lily Frank Fitzgerald. Oh, my goodness. Lord of mercy. Oh, you couldn't have a Hall of Fame about Bradley High School if Lily Frank Fitzgerald wasn't right. mentioned there. Yeah, and absolutely. uh talked there for 37, 38 years, English and speech. And she's one of those teachers was hard. If you had her, you knew it's going to be hard. But that's the kind of teacher inspires you. And we have the Lily Frank Fitzgerald Excellence in Teaching Award. And I don't mean to interrupt, but but your first uh, Hall of Fame uh, uh, nominee or Hall of Famer, Dr. Paul Kahn, credits Lily Frank Fitzgerald as his inspiration early in his life and, and, and at Bradley. She's been inspirational right to a lot of folks. And Absolutely. Rodney, her son, and Margo, his wife, started the Lily Frank Fitzgerald Excellence Teaching Scholarship Award, which is a monetary scholarship there that has been going on for many years. And Dale, just something he, to point out about that, yeah, yeah. too, and sorry, no. um, <laughs> you know, she was a faithful member of First Baptist Church uh, and taught Sunday school class for over 60 years. My that was something that I was, that, that, that uh, I was given to point out that, um, you know, not, not only did she give to um, her school and to the community um, she was also a faithful member of First Baptist Church. Wow. Involved in so many yeah. uh, organizations in town. It started the Future Teachers Club at Bradley mm -hmm. and the Honors Award, Academic Honors Award Bank which mm -hmm. is still ongoing wow. you know and she's wow. been gone for a while. Dale Hughes yeah. a name synonymous with Bradley Central High School and for, with Lee College came to Cleveland from uh, Canton, Ohio went to Lee playing basketball Scored 49 points one game. That's what he'll brag about when he talks about things. <laughs> Against Emmanuel. And uh, obviously became the head coach there at Lee in basketball. Won the national title in the NCAA in 68 73. He was the, one of the founding members of the NCAA and was the first president. Went to Bradley, 
later for 20 something years in 1986 bradley was awarded the school of excellence for the only school in tennessee that year to receive the national school of excellence award at bradley central which he received that in the rose garden from ronald reagan so My that was that was a wow special thing and wow. i just wanted to speak about del r you know when i when i took over as principal uh, you know one of the things that i did was try to contact principals that had been there before um, I got there and just some of the conversations that Mr. Hughes and I have had and the assistance that he has given me and just um, him being kind of a mentor kind of guy to me. Um, he is a very special person uh, to me and I'm very thankful for uh, Del Ar's friendship. Uh, to me. And Del Art's been involved in lots of businesses around town. Uh, obviously, he's been in the city council for, since 2012. He served as president of the Y of, of the United Way. I mean, goodness gracious. Uh, anything that's of major importance, significant importance in this town, he's been involved in that some way, somehow there. It's Too a, bad we can't say anything about his son, who well, is, by the way, texting me some very smart aleck things right now. But I, 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 <laughs> and that's why he will Better never, you than me, that's right? That's why he will, Reggie will never be in the Hall of Fame. Okay, let's just go ahead and say that now. We won't mention his name. It's Richie Hughes. Who Richie, yeah, yeah. Richie, yeah. We don't know him hardly. All right. Bob Johnson is our next inductee. Oh, uh, one of the greatest athletes ever at Bradley Central is all state. Went to Tennessee. Obviously made uh, all American for two years running. Uh, was the Jacobs Award winner, which is the trophy for the national blocker of the year throughout the country. Uh, was uh, dra he was the torchbearer at Tennessee? A lot of people don't know that torchbearer. If you're named the torchbearer at Tennessee, that means you're the top dog in that class in his senior class, and not just about football, but about academics. He and, and he uh, majored in industrial engineering. How many athletes take industrial engineering for a major? <laughs> oh, but he did, and he got drafted. And an interesting story here: Paul Brown, who had the Cleveland Browns, that's who they're named after. Start a new franchise after you got away from the Browns called the Cincinnati Bengals. The very first draft choice in the history of the Bengals is Paul Johnson, uh, Bob Johnson. Paul's his brother. But Bob, uh, he said, I want to build a team from someone of leadership and character and quality. And he, he, he drafted Bob, the very first one, and went on to be all pro numerous years. He's the only Cincinnati Bengals ever had his jersey retired, ever, for the Bengals. So and so I had the opportunity, Lynn Voles and the Public Education Foundation and Rodney Fitzgerald had the 1964 group over at the Pie Center last Friday night. And I'd always heard a lot about the Johnsons, and, 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 but I never had a chance to meet Bob. And it was, a, it was just an honor to meet Bob and have some conversations with him. And so, uh, it, it, you know, congratulations to uh, really, really everybody. But it was just special being able to sit down and, and talk to Bob and just uh, wow. get to know Bob a little bit more. Bob's dad he came here from Chicago. He came as the vice president of sales at Hardick Stokes, how the Johnson family came to Cleveland. And, and Bob's dad won uh, the heavyweight boxing championship for the Big Ten My when he was in school. Goodness. His dad did not know that. His dad didn't thought it was a violent sport and wouldn't let him box. And he didn't even know he'd won it until his pictures on the front page of Chicago Sun Times. <laughs> And at work, a guy saw it and said, hey, is this your – yeah. My word. That's how his dad – That's fascinating. I've never it, heard it is. Our next inductee is a guy we all know, Steve Sloan. Oh, yeah. Stephen yeah. Charles Sloan, oh. obviously at Bradley, a great student. Still married to Brenda, who was a year older than him. Very jealous of Steve when he was in, in high school. Yeah, I hope uh, they're hearing this. Steve Gibson will know this story, too. But, oh, yeah. uh, he went on to, to Alabama, uh, which was not – Looked at from the Tennessee fans' point of view as a very good thing. But Bear Bryant, he's who he played for there. And he was All-American, all academic All-American. He's the MVP of the Orange Bowl. He was All-American in uh, football, and he'd done everything he could do. He became coach at Georgia Tech, went to Vanderbilt, took him to a bowl game for the first time in 20 years, went to Texas Tech, came back to Alabama as a athletic director. And uh, from there, had athletic director a couple other schools and retired. He's in Florida now and living a good life down there. Lives on a golf course. Uh, I called him this week, and he was trying to get the ball out of the sand. <laughs> Very frustrating. Hey, was, so when Sloan, when Steve Sloan won the MVP, is this correct that Joe Namath had been suspended? Yes, that's correct. And they correct. put uh, Bear Bryant put Steve Sloan in. Yes, sir. And he wins the Orange Bowl in the MVP. Did they win the national title? That yes, year? they did. The next year with him too, he was he was the player of the year or whatever you want to call it. MVP there and all, yeah, all that. Un unbelievable. And, and going back to him and Rex, both of them have awards named after them at Bradley Central High School. Rex Doctor awards given out in football, and Steve Sloan awards given out in a separate uh, ceremony there. 
two of the most prestigious awards you can have at Brad Central as an athlete there. But so Steve's going to go in and he's yeah. he's enjoying life right now. Then the final one, a guy that we all know and love, dear, is Corky Whitlock. Oh, my goodness. Corky Whitlock. Oh, Cordell Corky Whitlock. Oh, man. Came here from Florida. He was from Middle Tennessee, Smith County. Went to Florida. Got a radio gig down there. Watching a basketball game. Saw Annette, his wife. I got her. That's my wife. Ends up married to her almost 60 years. Of course, he passed away, what, three years ago, I guess it is now. And uh, Corky, 53 years, the voice of the Bears. Uh, the longest tenure in Tennessee high school sports history, according to the TWSAA. Uh, Beck, uh, Annette and him ran the, the the baseball facilities when it moved from Fulbright out to the industrial park. It's the Corky and Annette Whitlock complex. It mm-hmm. shows you how much they meant out there. And of course, uh, Annette worked at Brady Central High School as a bookkeeper, taking care of all the money, writing the checks for many, many years. All four of their kids went to Bradley and Corky. He's he's what we call a gentleman's gentleman. He's uh, he never had a bad word said about anybody. For any reason, and I've been in some really tough, tense situations with him where I, I just wanted to explode about something happening on the road somewhere, you know. But keep your cool, Gary. Keep your cool. It'll be fine. Oh. said, never let him see you sweat, you know. And uh, he coached the Phillies out there for 35 years. Annette ran everything at the concession stand, the bookkeeping, all that at the, at the ballpark there. So very well-deserved honor. So that's, that's our list of seven. <laughs> I mean, how can it get any better? What in the world? What a way to start. We're joined. We're just joining us. We've crossed the hour. Uh, we're joined by uh, Bradley Central High School Principal Patrick Spangler, the boys of the Bears, Gary Onby. They're making the first announcement of the first uh, Bradley Central High School Hall of Fame class. Let me recap. Well, not much more you can say about this class. Dr. Paul Kahn, Rex Dockery, Lily Frank Fitzgerald, Dale Hughes, Bob Johnson, Steve Sloan, Corky Wetlock. Now, Patrick, <clears throat> Brett, I don't know if you knew Bridget, uh, also a, a, she thought that you guys were mm-hmm. coming to surprise her. Yeah. Can we, something? I'm well, one of the anything. stipulations was yeah. that you have to be 40, and she's not 40 <laughs> okay. yet, okay. so she's she under the actually. age. No, she <laughs> is. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let, me, let me go back. Patrick, unbelievable start to this list. Or to yeah, this it, it, it is. And, and I, I mean, I could go on and on and on, and I could probably say the same thing. It's just wow. I mean, um, but it, it's, it's special to me because, you know, this is such an exciting class, and, and I can't wait to recognize this class um, in the banquet uh, later on in, the, in, in December. Um, but I'm really excited about the future. Uh, I mean, because there's so many people that, you know, did not make this list, um, that in the future they're going to make the list. And so um, I, I'm just glad we were able to get it off the ground, get it started, you know, get get the processes, get the procedures down, um, because, <clears throat> you know, this is going to go on for a long time. Gary Onby, uh, let me ask you, uh, how can people, so I'm sure this is going to spur conversation about future uh, classes, what do they need to do if they if they have some ideas? They can submit. We have online on the website, and you get a hard copy at the school. Uh, if you want to submit someone's name, uh, fill out a little bit of information at that time and, and put in your name as the person who submitted their name, and then we'll get some information. And when the committee meets, uh, we have – it's a lot of uh, – Patrick and I are on the committee. We don't vote. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have a bunch of folks that do vote, and they're very well-known fo- folks that will remain on this committee. Uh, they will get together and we'll have a vote, a formal vote for those folks to see, you know, who's worthy of being on there. And everybody who's been submitted is worthy to be on there because we had a list of 50, 60, 70 mm-hmm. people. I think we narrowed it down to these seven, and they were the majority vote getters there. So that's how they get that. And uh, and one thing about Corky that he mentioned to me years ago, said there's this kid on Heartline. <laughs> he makes these tapes and brings these tapes on me listen to him to see if he can do radio work. And, you know, it never did pan out for him. <laughs> <laughs> I sure did. I sure did. He, hey, uh, he told me that story. I love him. Uh, Patrick, uh, let's uh, one more reminder about the banquet, uh, and uh, and then and then I guess how people get tickets. It's coming up uh, fairly soon. Yeah, so that'll be December seventh, Thursday, uh, six p.m. at the Pie Center. Uh, be looking for, and, and we'll send out information to you as well. We'll send out a press release today, uh, just uh, honoring this group. Um, but we'll also um, s- just submit things on social media websites, um, even our school website on how you can get tickets for that night. Sure. Um, there'll be a dinner. 
dinner and and just some presentations that that evening and then on Friday night of the Bradley Cleveland game December 8th um, we then will recognize this group in between games well we're honored that you announced that here and I mean that unbelievable names part of the very fabric of the history of our community these seven people who have uh, go in as the first class of the Bradley Central Line School Hall of Fame. Gentlemen, thank you very much. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank you for allowing us the time. I know we took up a lot of your, well, a lot of your uh, you time this morning. You but, really did. But, you know, <laughs> but, you, you, you know what you were, or you knew what you were getting into <laughs> with uh, Gary no, and no. I coming in. No, right? no, this so. is totally, I hope you do this every year. This was totally <laughs> worth it, and uh, I, it deserves the time. Thank you both. Gary, we'll talk, we'll listen to you tonight. All right. You and Earl. Talk 101.3 The Buzz. 5.30 pregame, 7 o'clock kickoff. That's right. That's right. As uh, at Bear Stadium will be uh, packed tonight, getting ready uh, after the bye week last week. All right, so we're going to take a break right here. Bridget's got an announcement to make uh, herself since she didn't make the Bradley Hall of Fame. Uh, <laughs> she's going to announce Tennessee ticket winners. Uh, we'll do that in just a moment. Now we're, we are uh, going to uh, change contest. Now till 9 a.m., Thank you, gentlemen. We're going to, uh, Bridget, give away another prize. Uh, let's see. I think these are four tickets. Is mm -hmm. that right? Four tickets to the Mayfield Farm Park, which opens this weekend. So, yeah, you can call or text us till 9 o'clock, 614-6499. Call us on the Volunteer Ridipest Mix Line or text us on the Sell with Darren text line. That's Darren Miller EXP Realty. Again, 614-6499. All right, uh, so uh, that's till 9 a.m. It's a Fall Fun Friday, this uh, Fall Fun Friday. Our first is uh, sponsored by Stoney's Appliance Repair. And Bridget, I know when people call Stoney, if they got a appliance down, he will not only, they will not only call you back, Stoney will show up. That's right. You can call him 423-402-6610. That's 402-6610 for Stoney's Appliance no, Repair. No, I'm on time for him. <laughs> 402-6610. And do it one more time oh, for goodness. Richie Hughes, oh, who is one of Job's comforters. <laughs> 402-6610. Broadcasting from the Kia of Cleveland Studios, this is Mix 1041 WC. Broadcasting from the Kia of Cleveland Studios, this is Talk 1013 The Buzz, WCLE, HD2 and 1013 FM, W267BI Cleveland. Fox News is next, presented by Capital Tire Service in downtown Cleveland. The Mix 1041 News Desk brought to you by Logan Thompson Law, a tradition of legal and community service. That's Logan Thompson Law at LoganThompsonLaw.com. Right, we're going to, uh, because of time, go directly to local and state news from the Logan Thompson Law News Desk. The Cleveland Daily Banner reported on Thursday that indicted on one uh, charge of sexual battery stemming from an incident in June, a Bradley County Fire and Rescue Battalion commander has resigned. James Clayton Smith, age 48, has been employed by the Bradley uh, County Fire Department since 2009, submitted his uh, resignation on Thursday. Been charged, spent charged by Bradley County Grand Jury on August the 16th. The banner, a uh, Cleveland Daily banner, through an open records request, received, uh, had access to a letter in Smith's uh, personnel file, a letter from uh, interim Fire and Rescue Chief Jeff Stewart, which detailed the accusation from the management of the CBC Edmund Street, uh, the restaurant and bar, alleged that an incident occurred on the evening of June 23rd where uh, uh, while sitting on the outside patio, the waitress was pouring drinks for customers and James Smith touched her inappropriately. The incident caught on a security camera. Smith seen laughing as the waitress jumps and walks away. The waitress, uh, uh, the woman uh, notified CBC management. Uh, they proceeded, uh, who proceeded to file a verbal complaint with Fire and Rescue against Smith. June 24th, he was uh, banned by CBC. Smith was uh, from uh, the premises. He was, at the time of the incident, still on unpaid administrative leave, a separate incident that happened in Polk County. And um, other uh, news, uh, unemployment rates out this morning for the state and locally. Bradley County's unemployment rate down uh, to 3.6%. 
Uh, Bradley, McMen, and Polk counties all had their rates fall by three tenths of a percentage point. Bradley County, 3.6. McMinn County, 4.2. Polk County, 4%. State rate down uh, 3.1 for August. And again, we did add some education uh, employees to the payrolls for August. And Southeast, we are Southeast Tennessee's football headquarters tonight. All three high schools are at home. And as Joe Cannon pointed out, along with Gary Ornby in the, uh, in the Cleveland Daily Banner Thursday, so listen to this. The three local high school football teams, Bradley, Cleveland, Walker Valley, since Walker Valley came into existence in 2001, have the best start in their combined history. They're 12 and 2. So it's a it's a very special uh, halfway point of the season here. <clears throat> so tonight, Cleveland High School hosts Chattanooga Red Bank uh, at uh, seven o'clock kick right here. Mix 1041. Bradley Central will host uh, Ringle Heritage with, uh, at Bear Stadium tonight, 7 o'clock. Talk, 101.3 The Buzz. Walker Valley hosts Ray County tonight at 7 o'clock on 99.1 FM. Get your tickets early at the Town Squire, Monogram Market, and Gobbles Automotive. And don't forget, download the Mix app. Uh, you can uh, do that at mymix1041.com. Hey, Fruit Loops, and uh, so what do they do? They can... Uh, Eat their Funyuns or their uh, Cheetos or their pizza, whatever, and, and just w do what? Well, they can look at scores. They can listen to uh, the radio feeds uh, from other games. Um, or if they're at the game, they can watch the scores of what's happening else around the area. Is it, Bridget, is it possible that I could be inducted in the Bradley Hall of Fame under no. a special waiver? Never. <laughs> I know you're upset. Uh, your mother has already filed a protest with Bradley. First of all, I don't know if you actually graduated from Bradley, but uh, you know, paperwork's still catching up. And then Austin, uh, when you, uh, uh, Fruit Loops, uh, when Walker Valley forms a Hall of Fame, uh, you'd like to be in that. Is that correct? Um, sure. And he's about as inspiring as you, as you uh, think there. All right, uh, Bridget, time right. to announce our Tennessee ticket winner from the... Really, we started that at 6.30 a.m. this morning, went until 8 a.m. We had a huge amount of entries. Uh, Tennessee taking on Texas San Antonio tomorrow. Now, uh, who wins those tickets? That winner is Renana Chastain. Congratulations. Hey, Renana Chastain. Hey, Renana, listen, uh, you may have to play. Uh, UT is bad. Uh, got killed by Florida last week. You may have to suit up. I'm, I don't know if you have any eligibility or not, but uh, there you go. Mark Shepard, Shelter Insurance, 2334 Key Street, Cleveland. Call 423-339-8777. Good morning. Let's get a check of traffic here. This Don Ledford Cleveland Mix Highway Patrol report is brought to you by Don Ledford in Cleveland. It's your end model closeout time. And Don Ledford GMC truck is saying yes to low interest rates and trade assistance in September. That's at Don Ledford GMC on Northley Highway in Cleveland and anytime at DonLedford.com. We have no reports of any accidents this morning. Drive safely out there as you make your way in. And as always, if you see a traffic problem, give us a call. The volunteer Ridipest Mix line is 614 Six four nine nine. You can also text us at that same number on the cell with Darren text line. That's Darren Miller, EXP Realty. This traffic report is brought to you by the Cleveland Family YMCA, where all are welcome with membership solutions for everyone, regardless of income. Join the Y between now and September 30th and pay no joining fee. Find out more at ymcachattanooga.org. We'll check your Mermaid Mattress Weather Center forecast coming up. And, uh, and this half hour of next mornings brought to you by our friends at Refined Lux Plastic Surgery in the Hayes Hand Center now on Paula Parkway in Cleveland. Uh, what's a, a commercial say if they want a new face and go see uh, Refined Lux, which, by the way, is two-thirds of this audience needs to go line up now. <laughs> doesn't say that exactly, no. <laughs> well, it's something. I mean, Ashley does the spot, and I just love it. I think, uh, But they do great work. And I will say there's a lot of cancer patients who have been having to travel from Cleveland down to uh, Refined Lux Plastic Surgery in Chattanooga, who tell me, and these are friends of mine, who tell me, you know what, I get to stay in Cleveland. They've really done a great job. Hayes Hand Center has saved people's careers. Save Hayes Hand Center. Legendary. And the folks are right here in Cleveland now, so uh, check them out. <laughs> 
Are you losing sleep thinking about how market volatility is affecting your retirement? Our slogan is better mattress, better price. And at Mermaid, we really do believe that because we use the highest quality of foams, the highest quality of intercoils that go into the mattresses, and we have the highest quality people working for us. We have a number of employees that have been with us for up to 30 years, and we're very proud of that fact. Elevate your siding projects with Cleveland Exteriors. Ascend fiberglass siding built with lasting beauty and low maintenance. Cleveland Exteriors, your trusted partner for exceptional siding. Visit clevelandexteriors.com or call today. Choosing the right health care plan for you and your family can be overwhelming. Direct Primary Care Associates' new pharmacy benefits is the best choice for you and your family. With personalized attention, convenient telemedicine options, and free generic medications, Direct Primary Care Associates Pharmacy Benefits offers everything you need to keep you and your family healthy and happy. Say goodbye to long wait times, rushed appointments, and unexpected medical bills. Visit our website to learn more about how Direct Primary Care Associates can provide the best health care experience for you and your family. Direct Primary Care Associates, affordable health care for all. Mayfield Dairy, celebrating 100 years of the iconic Mayfield ice cream at MayfieldDairy.com. Proudly headquartered in Athens, Tennessee. Mix 1041 is celebrating 30 years of being on air. We are celebrating by giving away 30 prizes over 30 weeks. Presented by TVFCU Mortgage. Register today at MyMix1041.com. Welcome to Mountain View Nissan Country, where automotive excellence is our top priority. At Mountain View Nissan, we take pride in offering you the finest selection of vehicles, perfectly suited for your adventurous spirit. From powerful SUVs ready to conquer any terrain to your everyday gas-friendly commuters, we have the perfect vehicle to match your lifestyle. This is Mountain View Nissan Country, where automotive dreams become reality. Visit one of our three locations in Dalton, Chattanooga, and Cleveland today and let us take your driving experience to new peaks. Did you know that drinking and driving is a leading cause of traffic fatalities? It kills more than 28 people in the United States every day. That means one person every 52 minutes. Thirty-five years ago, they're now up to five locations in Cleveland and Bradley County. By the way, all of the all-safe storage, all five locations, they have uh, uh, electronic gates and video surveillance. And uh, Teresa has that at the house, by the way, so it all, it all works out. Uh, that's an all-safe storage. Go to allsafetn.com. They are running a special to get your first month free. Uh, when you call, and if you're a, a new customer at All Safe Storage, Ed Brown and Ed and Teresa remind everybody, be generous, be generous, and and do good. That's, what, that's really the message they want to get out there. All right, let's go inside the Mermaid Mattress Weather Center at 823. Any size mattress for the price of a twin. Our orthopedic mattress is $399. Our Cumberland Eurotop is $599, any size, but only at Mermaid Mattress. For today, we'll have partly cloudy skies, a high of 84 and a low of 57 this evening. For tomorrow, sunny skies, a high of 83 and a low of 54. Sunny on Sunday with a high of 83. Your current Simply Bank temperature is 56 degrees. This weather forecast is brought to you by Bradley Concrete and Lamb con ready mix family owned business serving cleveland for over 40 years call them at 423-479-4541 or visit lambcon.us to find out more all right you're trying to win uh, uh for a family four pack of tickets to mayfield farm park you have until 9 a.m call or text 423-614-6499 don't forget, it's Michael Mayfield's birthday tomorrow. They're opening tomorrow. A name and brand that you can trust. Wholesale Supply has been serving the Southeast for over 75 years. Whether you need plumbing, electrical, or HVAC supplies, Wholesale Supply can provide you with the products that you need to complete any job, big or small. Supplying brands such as Kohler, Delta, Renai, Progress Lighting, and so many more. With 32 locations across the Southeast, Wholesale Supply is your hometown plumbing, electrical, and HVAC supplier. To find a location near you, visit WholesaleSupply.us. And remember, Wholesale Supply is open Monday through Friday and open to the public. Cleveland Tire is ready to help your auto any way it can. We're one of the largest providers of Goodyear brand tires in the area. 
We sell all major brand tires. We have ASE certified mechanics on staff six days a week. We also have a commercial truck tire center that provides 24-hour roadside service and minor mechanical repairs on site. We have built our reputation on years of quality, affordable work, and tires. We pride ourselves in customer satisfaction and great service. Cleveland Tire Center. Attention shoppers, learn more about our picky promise. This produce looks amazing, and it smells so fresh. Food City is as picky about produce as I am, and that's hard to do. But they make it look easy with their picky promise. If it's ever not fresh, they'll replace it. That's cool. And I thought their helpful certified butchers were the coolest thing about this place. It's all here. Nobody does food like Food City. At some point in your life, you may be faced with a legal challenge, whether it be a personal injury, a business dispute, or family matter. Our goal is to overcome your legal obstacles and get your life back on track. If you or a loved one have been injured or have legal issues confronting you and your family, talk with someone on our team. We will investigate your problem to determine the facts and the law. Working together, we can develop a plan to obtain the result you deserve. My dad says our new Linux system saves energy. Well, saving energy means saving money. A lot of money? Yep. Time for a raise in my allowance. Savings year after year. A big raise. Call today for perfect air you can feel in your home and savings you can feel in your wallet. Linux. Air is life. Make it perfect. Call Dale's Heating and Air today. Everyone there at the Porsche dealership are so personable and very knowledgeable that we just keep coming back. What I was looking for was a sport utility that was sporty and attractive and had the ability to perform to my expectations. The service department goes above and beyond with their routine service maintenance and they get me out of there quickly. Chattanooga Auto Square. Luxury lives here. Busy, busy Friday, final official day of the summer. Fall starts tomorrow. Let's get a check of our Simmons Bank celebration list, a huge list this morning, Bridget. Yeah, happy birthday to my cousin, Melissa Harper, tomorrow. Hope she has a wonderful birthday. Also, Michael Mayfield celebrating his birthday tomorrow up at Mayfield Farm Park, which is their opening weekend this weekend. Herb Bean is going to be 95 tomorrow. Jim Workman, owner of Bender Realty here in Cleveland, celebrating his birthday today. County Commissioner Milan Blake is having a birthday today. He says he hopes his Bama beats old miss tomorrow. Sharon Marr at Main Street Cleveland having a birthday today. Kelly Paul at Bender Realty and also Debbie Todd Salon. She is celebrating her birthday. That is from her husband Todd. Lee McChesney is celebrating on Sunday over at Cleveland State. Linda Lundy is going to be 75 on Sunday. That is Gideon that works here, his grandmother. Don Cross is going to be 72 tomorrow. That is from his wife. Joyce Bullard is going to be 87 tomorrow. That is from her son. Tylen Hobbs is having a birthday today. A seventh grader at Cleveland Middle also active with his church at First Baptist. Axton Agar is going to be 13 on Sunday, a 7th grader at Lake Forest Middle School. He plays the trombone in the band, and he's also going to play Buddy the Elf in the fall musical coming up. Addison Cole is going to be 3 tomorrow. She loves Barbie, Mermaids, and Paw Patrol. Brooklyn Cross is going to be 10 years old tomorrow. That is from Mom, Dad, Jay, and Jackson. Shirley Maynard is having a birthday today. That is from her good friend Melissa Brewer. Maria Maxwell is going to be 29 tomorrow. Taylor Fugit is having a birthday on Sunday. She's a kindergarten teacher at Michigan Avenue. Logan and Holly Melton, they are celebrating their fourth wedding anniversary today. Levi Kelly is going to be 18 tomorrow, a student at Cleveland State. That is from Mom and the Crew. Chelsea Hancock is 33 today, a teacher at Waterville Elementary. Joanne Lewis is having a birthday today. That was called in by Pastor Lewis. Michael and Brooke Truelove, they are celebrating their 16th wedding anniversary today. William Myolin is going to be 60 tomorrow. Pearl Russell celebrating on Sunday. Brandon Jensen is having a birthday today along with Jerry Long. Ben Taylor and Eli Taylor, they are twins celebrating their 16th birthdays tomorrow. Their dad sent that in to us, Josh Taylor, who's a Bradley County School Board member and owner of L&B Appliance. Tara Estrada is having a birthday today. That is from Camden, Liam, and Lillian. And then Jack Williams is 57. 
66 today. That is from his wife, Angie. Call in your birthdays and wedding anniversaries to us. We'll take those on the Volunteer Ridipest Mix Line, 614-6499. You can also text us at that same number on the Sell with Darren text line. That's Darren Miller, EXP Realty. Go to our website, MyMix1041.com, or download our free Mix1041 app. That's the Simmons Bank Celebration List at Simmons Bank. They're with you every step of the way. Call Jamie Kyle, 423-381-3429. Uh, let's go to the phones. Good morning. Who's this? This is Renana Chastain. Renana Chastain. Now, Renana, do you have any uh, football experience? Uh, just a little bit. A little powder puff at uh, Bradley back uh, in the day. Okay, okay. okay that, that's what we need. You, uh, congratulations. Yeah. Uh, Bridget announced you won tickets uh, to tomorrow's game. It's all good, Steve. I got this. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take a win for him. Do you have any eligibility and uh, have you ever played college football? No, no I have not. Too bad. Well, we may need you tomorrow. As you know, Tennessee is horrible. They're bad. And I'm not that's not a comment on your uh, talent or lack thereof, but uh, you may be called on to play by winning these tickets. I'm in. I'm ready. <laughs> She's in, man. She's ready to go. Renata, how are you? I'm doing good. Just getting to work. Uh, and where is that? Uh, Chattanooga College. Chattanooga College? Yes, you're I teach uh, in the PN program here. Uh, you're teaching the young people. I am. I call them little baby nurses. There, there you go. Well you're, well, you're doing the Lord's work, Renata. Congratulations. And again, you may want to drink a few energy drinks, uh, some good caffeinated coffee, uh, and who knows, maybe you want to shoot up with some steroids. I don't know. But but anyway, uh, uh, you may have to Thank play. You. I'm ready. All I'm right. ready. Renata, congratulations. Thank you so much. All right. Have a, have a good day. Thanks. All right. Renata Chastain, who just won uh, uh, tickets. Broderick Hicks, our longtime friend. Broderick, how long has B.W. James Jewelers been in Cleveland now? Uh, we've been in the community for about nine years now, Steve, since uh, 2015. I remember when you guys came. And, and talk about that time period because, I mean, you've seen a lot of growth and a lot of things happen. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, you know, definitely Paul Huff Parkway has developed a lot since then uh, where we're located at there. Some some positive, some people aren't the happiest about it, but um, we're really glad to see the, the positive growth in the community and uh, just uh, how Cleveland has expanded in a really nice way uh, since we were founded here. Well, uh, our buddy uh, Broderick Hicks uh, joins us, B.W. James uh, uh, Jewelry. So bring me up to date on the latest. What's happening? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so we're having a uh, We Pay Your Sales Tax event going on right now that we're really excited to share with everyone. Um, and as we know in Tennessee, sales tax is pretty significant. That's almost 10%. So uh, we actually pay your sales tax on any engaged ring or wedding band purchase right now through wow. the end of the month. Wow. Uh, th uh, through the end of the month. Yes, sir. Wonderful. All right. And I know, uh, uh, Broderick, you guys are involved in several charitable activities. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we have really made it our mission this year to partner with more charities than ever before. In fact, no charity. We have not refuse any charity to give a gift or donation to this year. Um, that's kind of been our mission wow. and uh, really to give back to the local community. So I, I can really proudly say that no other local jeweler gives back to as many local charities as we do. Wow. And uh, just to give a few that we partner with this year, uh, Cherry's Jubilee. Uh, we love you, Nancy Kaysen. Uh, everybody <laughs> loves Nancy. <laughs> we love or, Nancy. Or she'll make you love her. Yeah, exactly. There you go. That's right. Uh, I love her. Uh, Willow Bend Farms Run for Freedom, that's yes. coming up. Yes. We're, a, we're a sponsor in that. Really hope uh, everyone's able to attend that. Uh, Bradley County Casa, Isaiah House, and Make-A-Wish, and pretty much almost every local school uh, we've given a, a donation or gift to in the past here. What makes you want to do that, Broderick? You know, uh, really, uh, you know, obviously, make, uh, being in a small business, obviously your main goal is to, you know, sell things, have customers. But really, I think there's something more there. And I love the idea of being able to give back to the community that I call home. Cleveland is my hometown. And uh, I just love to be able to help in a small way. And hopefully over a long period of time, it makes a big difference in our local community.
Uh, Broderick Hicks joins us, B.W. James uh, Jewelers, uh, right there on Paula Parkway. Uh, really, a, a lot of, we say, next out back or in front of Home Depot uh, right there. Uh, tell me what else is happening as far as in the store. Yeah, we're gearing up for the holidays. Really excited for that. So, uh, you know, please keep us in mind as we get closer to Christmas. It's already uh, almost October coming up here. So uh, the holidays are quickly approaching. So so people could come in and, and maybe and, and start a plan. I mean, they could come in and start planning. Exactly. So we have a really cool wish list future. So uh, basically, if you want to give some ideas to your boyfriend, husband, been significant other, you can come in and we'll notate those items that you looked at. And then when it comes time around Christmas, you can get exactly what you were uh, looking at there. All right, our buddy uh, Broderick Hicks, anything else you want to add here uh, before we go? Yeah, just, uh, you know, if, if you have any jewelry needs, um, you know, I ask that you would consider us, um, you know, because, again, our biggest thing is that whenever you buy something from B.W. James Jewelers, a portion of that goes back to the local community here in Bradley County, and that's a, that's a big thing for us. And then uh, contact information, of course, coming by is the best thing. But what else do you tell people? Absolutely. Uh, BWJamesJewelers.com. We've actually been able to serve customers in all 50 states. But Whoa. proudly, proudly founded and uh, headquartered here out of Bradley County. Absolutely. Uh, BWJamesJewelers.com. Paula Parkway here in Cleveland. Our buddy, Broderick Hicks. Uh, Broderick, thank you very much for coming in this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me, and I appreciate all that Mix 1041 does for the community as well. Thank you, sir. Very much. Have a great day. Thank we'll you. We'll see you soon. And uh, remember that sales tax uh, event happening at uh, BW James Jewelers. Save a bunch of money uh, now through the end of the month. Is that correct? Yes, sir. All right, buddy. It's uh, 24 minutes before 9. Sports is uh, actually sports is right now. Here we go. All right, it's uh, the CHI Memorial, CHI Memorial Sports Desk, CHI Memorial. Hello, Human Kindness Memorial Convenient Care is open seven days a week. Braves beat the Nationals last night, 10-3. They'll play in Washington this weekend. Uh, 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 coverage uh, tomorrow and Sunday, <clears throat> driven by Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland. Don't forget uh, Sunday day Braves games. We carry those on 99.1 FM. And uh, day games are on uh, Talk 1013 The Buzz, Monday through Saturday. Night games here, Mix 1041. NFL Thursday night football last night. Boy, the 49ers, 3 0, looking good, 30 12 over the New York Giants. Last night in uh, Santa Clara, Mix 1041 is your Southeast Tennessee football headquarters, supplied by Wholesale Supply Group. Cleveland Daily Banner reported on Thursday that our three local high school football teams have the best combined start since Walker Valley uh, became a school in 2001. And we've had the three high schools here locally. They are 12 and 2. Very good. Tonight, all three at home. Number eight, Cleveland High School host Chattanooga Red Bank. Seven o'clock kickoff at Benjamin Rose Stadium in Raider Field. We'll have it. Terry Evans, Greg Phillips on Mix 1041 and the Mix app. Number one, Bradley Central High School, the Bears. We'll host uh, Heritage, Georgia, Heritage of Ringo, Georgia tonight. Kickoff, 7 o'clock at Bears Stadium. Talk, 101.3 The Buzz. Gary Onby, Coach Earl Rowan. And on the Mix app, number 11, Walker Valley hosts Ray County tonight. 7 o'clock on 99.1 FM with Andy Morris, Jacob Mason, also on the Mix app tonight. Hardy's Friday Night Blitz, the 20th anniversary season, follows the games on Mix 1041, MixTV.TV. All the scores in your phone call. Best way to do it, download the Mix app, go to the Southeast Tennessee Football Headquarters page. The uh, live play-by-play, uh, -play, the streams are there, all three of our stations. Updated scores throughout the night, all on one page. Southeast Tennessee Football Headquarters page. Download the app at mymix1041.com. Other games tonight, Utawa at McMinn County. Meg's County at Chattanooga Central. Copper Basin. I'll be loving you, Copper Basin. Welcome to Moe's. Moe's Hicks went to Copper Basin, matter of fact. At uh, Wetwell, NBA Montgomery Bell Academy at Macaulay tonight. Brentwood Academy will be at uh, Chattanooga Baylor all tonight. Mix 104-1, your home of the ball.
presented by TVMCU. They're hosting Texas San Antonio tomorrow. Kickoff 4 o'clock in Knoxville. Right here on Mix 1041 on the Mix app. We'll begin our pregame coverage at 1.30 with SEC Saturday. Tomorrow I'll be joined by Commissioner Josh Rogers, Jason Cox, Shelton Still in Parts Unknown. Hope it gets out. It's all presented by CHI Memorial tomorrow at 1.30. 4 o'clock kick tomorrow. 99.1 FM, your home of the dogs. Supplied by Wholesale Supply Group, Georgia and UAB. Tomorrow. 7.30 uh, kickoff tomorrow night. Other, uh, you know, it's the best college football weekend uh, Saturday of the year thus far. Noon game, Florida State at Clemson. I got FSU. You don't care. I got FSU winning that game. How about it, Scotty McGowan? FSU, what do you think? Colorado at Oregon. The story continues. He is the story of the season. Hey, Fruit Loops, I'm bring you in here. Do uh, you think Neon Dion, prime time, Coach Prime, Colorado at Oregon, 3.30 Saturday, ABC Television, do you think that Colorado wins at Oregon? Uh, of course they do. Yeah, you have no idea. I think they do uh, it. Bridget no. picked Oregon. Ole Miss at Alabama, 3.30 CBS tomorrow. What do you think? Um, I think Oregon. Yeah, so you're going to pick Oregon uh, in the Ole Miss-Alabama game. Congratulations. I don't see how that happens. I wasn't paying any attention. I'm used to it. Ole Miss-Alabama, who wins in Tuscaloosa? Oh, Alabama does. Yeah. Ohio State at Notre Dame. They make Dame. a comeback. Huh? They make a comeback. Okay. Ohio State at Notre Dame tomorrow night, 730 on NBC. What did you say? Ohio State. I mean, how many times I, you. I feel like your wife, she has to tell you five times, take out the garbage. Ohio State. It's a, it's a, okay, it's a school in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, and, and then they're going to go to South Bend, Indiana, and touch down Jesus at Notre Dame. Who do you got? Ohio. I'll, I'll add a state in there, so Ohio State. Ohio State. I'm so glad I have you. I feel like I'm talking to John Madden. And then Iowa at Penn State and Happy Valley tomorrow night, 730. Penn State. You're suspended, thanks. All right, Caden, uh, just keep, keep, us, keep us on the air. It is uh, 18 before the hour. Wendy Hughes is coming up. At CHI Memorial. Why buying our country best buy medals? For 20 years, Best Buy Metals has provided permanent steel roofing. Additionally, we've expanded to manufacture metal siding, including steel, board and batten, and traditional lap siding. We also offer custom pole barns, from a simple roof-only structure to a fully enclosed building. Stop by one of our seven showrooms today or visit us online 24-7 at bestbymetalroof.com. The summer sales event is on at Cleveland Ford and the car business is back. Inventory's back, discounts are back, and interest rates are down. Cleveland Ford even has trade-in assistance cash available. So hurry to Cleveland Ford today because now is the time to buy. This Mix 1041 Medical Minute is brought to you by the Vascular Institute. September is PAD Awareness Month. Understanding peripheral arterial disease, or PAD, is vital for your well-being. PAD is a condition where arteries that carry oxygen-rich blood to your legs become narrowed or blocked due to a buildup of plaque. Certain risk factors increase your chances of developing PAD, including smoking, diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and a family history of vascular disease. Early stages of PAD might not exhibit noticeable symptoms, but as it progresses, you might experience leg pain, cramping, weakness, or numbness. If left untreated, PAD can lead to serious complications like non-healing sores, infections, and even amputation. However, the good news is that a timely intervention can significantly improve outcomes. No referral is needed. Appointments within three days. Accepting new patients. Five convenient locations. Find out more at Vascular Institute of Chattanooga.com. Mayfield Dairy, celebrating 100 years of the iconic Mayfield ice cream at MayfieldDairy.com, proudly headquartered in Athens, Tennessee. Bender Realty is proud to have three agents who've been in real estate for over 40 years. The experts at Bender Realty don't just live here, they volunteer and contribute to the community in our area. Our involvement in the community of who being able to uh, reach out to, whether it's City planner, county planner, economic development committee to help you 
bring new businesses into the Cleveland area. We're, we're all in, involved and we're able to keep up with what's going on and what's coming in Cleveland. If you're looking to buy, sell, lease, or rent, trust your friends at Bender Realty. 472-2173. Bender-Realty.com. Be home with Bender Realty. Good morning. I love to give you this first weather headline right here. Gorgeous weather through the weekend. This string of days that we've had this week will continue today, tomorrow and Sunday. So absolutely enjoy all your outdoor plans. Lots of sunshine in store and we still have that comfy humidity. So it's not going to be too humid outside that air feeling a little bit more refreshing. As we look ahead to next week, there will be some times of showers next week. A little bit of activity on Monday and Tuesday, but that mainly comes into play on Wednesday and Thursday, which means when we look Look at our five day forecast. There's not a whole lot of percentages on here. Specifically today, Saturday and Sunday, you have mostly sunny skies. Generally, those three days high temperatures ranging from about 80 to 85 degrees, although a couple of spots staying in the 70s. Let's go ahead and look to Monday and Tuesday of next week. A mix of sun and clouds highs in the upper 70s to low 80s, about 82 in Chattanooga. Just about a 10% chance for a stray shower on Monday. Friday this morning, it's sponsored by Stoney's Appliance Repair, and it's been a fun Friday. Let me give you a couple of ways you can win here. We got a couple of big prizes. Uh, those of you who have the Mix 1041 app, we have an app exclusive contest for you. Four tickets to the Six Flags Fright Fest. Uh, that is uh, uh, four tickets. We'll give those away at five o'clock this afternoon. Uh, so that's app only. If you don't have the app, download it for free. It's uh, free thanks to CHI Memorial. Download at mymix1041.com. We also have uh, four tickets to the Mayfield Farm Park that we're giving away uh, at 9 o'clock this morning. So you can call or text 423-614-6499. We'll announce the winner at 9 a.m. We're going to do that again this afternoon. So uh, we've got a big day or fall fun Friday. Again, uh, call the volunteer, Red Pest Mix Line, 423-614-6499 or text the Sell with Darren Miller text line, Darren at EXP Real Estate, sellwithdarren.com. Uh, and and put, uh, folks, if you're texting, please put your name on it. And if you're trying to enter the Mayfield contest, uh, just put Mayfield Farm on it. They open tomorrow for the season. It's all sponsored by Stoney's Appliance Repair. You can call Stoney if you've got an appliance uh, breakdown. Not only will they call you back, Stoney will show up. Been in it for over 40 years. Call 402-6610. 402-6610. Well, ladies and gentlemen, two fine ladies join us right here, and they're sharing a microphone. I don't understand that. We have uh, Wendy Hughes and Phyla Goins. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Well, I heard you cut back on stuff, so we yeah. figured. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, we did. sold it in the yard sale. Oh, okay. And, yeah, well, that so makes sense. That's where we found yeah. most of our stuff. And we got Phyla Goins, Garden Plaza, Cleveland. Phyla, welcome back. Thank you. Good to be here. It's, uh, hey, uh, Fruit Loops, will you make yourself useful and come bring another microphone for them? I'll tell you what. No, forget that. Phyla, you just sit here in Bridget's chair. We, we need some IQ points anyway. All right. I'll do that. So now we'll just do that. Come, no, it's fine. I'm going to sit her over here. Yeah, she, she doesn't want to be that close to me, but it's fine. I love Phyla Goins. Can Wendy, I, I want to start I with you. Can I interview Phyla? Yeah. I'll, I, yes. Oh. I'll go home. Okay, good. That'd be just fine. All right. But. Well, I yeah. won't say anything. Okay. Well, I brought my friend, got, got a file. I can't even talk uh, because she's actually been helping me with some stuff with my mom. Oh, great. And so we went over to have lunch with her one day and we're really surprised at some of the things that we found out there. So tell us a little mm -hmm. bit about what Garden Plaza is. Well, you know, Garden Plaza is a continuum of care campus, and so, which means that we have independent and assisted living, you know, all on one campus. So, you know, that gives you, you options mm -hmm. as to what you need is going to be available. Um, you know, our um, um, area, we're managed by Century Park Associates, you know, which is under the direction of Esmeralda Lee. Love her. <laughs> and, Love and then our executive director is Ken Bolin. Oh, well, you can't win them all, can you? <laughs> <laughs> no, and, Ken's doing a great job. He is doing a great job. Um, and we've got, you know, Gordon Plaza, you know, opened, um, you know, in uh, 2006, you know, with our main building, a five-story building, and, you know, provide 85 independent apartments and 47 assisted living apartments. So... Um, you know, then in 2009, we opened the village. That's right. 
And those are, if you see those off our Henderson, you can see those behind our campus. It's And those are uh, 1,300 square foot patio homes. They have fireplaces and screened in porches. And I mean, it, it's just carefree living. Mm -hmm. uh, everything is taken care of for you. And it's this ideal retirement for, for seniors that are active. You know, our uh, independent living, you know, is is for that person that is still active. Well, and that's one of the things that I have. My mom's still active. Mm -hmm. So I said, what's the difference between the independent and the assisted? Because a lot of people think that's just a nursing home, and that's not what that is. Right. That's always one of the uh, things that people, you know, have in their mind. And a lot of seniors have that in their mind because that's what they grew up, you know, being exposed to was mm -hmm. a nursing home. But, you know, we are far from that. Uh, independent living is for that senior that is that has an active lifestyle. You know, they can take care of their personal their personal needs, you know, however, they prefer to have, you know, those meals prepared. They like weekly housekeeping and, you know, a great social activities, you know, program or calendar to go by and security, you know, and just knowing that someone is there to help them if they need it. Right. So one of the things that I ask, and like my mom, she's not somebody who likes to hang around with people, but, um, <laughs> um, so, Imagine that. but, but the way this is set up, when she gave mm -hmm. us the tour, you have mm -hmm. the option if you want to stay in your room or your apartment or that, or just go yeah. to dinner, yeah. you don't have to, but you have a lot of activities and things that if you are active, mm -hmm. um, like when Steve acts like he's being active. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we, we do have a lot of activities, a strong, you know, activity calendar, um, Rachel Brennan is just, you know, a, a wonder on what she can do. I told her yesterday, I can't believe she's got as much energy as she does because she does a great job, you know, keeping them on, going on day trips, you know, uh, activities, entertainment coming in. There's always something for them to do, but not everybody wants to get involved. Right. Some like to be a little bit more alone. We do encourage it. Because, you know, for them to get out and meet and uh, because it's just not healthy to isolate yourself. Well, and it does give a sense of community. I will mm -hmm. say this. If you haven't been to the bistro there, oh, as soon as you walk in the door, they're like making fresh pizza dough. <laughs> they make homemade pizzas there. And you can go and eat. Like if my mom was there, we can go eat there or we can mm -hmm. eat in the cafeteria. So it does yeah. make a nice community. It's open to the public, yeah. you know, so Monday through Friday. Would we call and talk to you if we were interested? Yes, you could um, just call me or Linda Copley and, you know, talk to us. Uh, we'll be glad to sit down and talk to you and with you or the family or with your mom and dad. Show them around. Let them get a feel for it. Um, you know, it's hard to pick a community, and there's a lot of options. So, you know, we, Linda and I both have been doing this for 12 years, over 12 years. And so we are really, you know, in tune with what the senior needs. I am a senior, so it, I know exactly what we need. And but it is it is just the ideal situation for you know someone to come in and sit down and talk and get peace of mind, knowing what they need and what will help them out. You know, for those senior years, it's it's never it's never too late or too early. Let's put it that way: never too early. Well, when we went to eat, one thing Lindsay said after we were done is, man, Fyla really knows what she's talking about. She's really good. So my final question mm -hmm. is, if and when Steve needs a, a room, will you make mm -hmm. sure he gets one? I, I oh, yeah, we'll do one up on the, <laughs> we can do the penthouse for him. How's that? <laughs> I thought you were going to say the outhouse. <laughs> That's what I used to. By the way, Linda, uh, has, has, God love her a little art. She's tried to win the duck race for <laughs> no. five years, and she's never yeah. never won it, sadly. But uh, but anyway. She tries. you got to give her that. She, yeah. She really tries. does. We love it. <laughs> All right. Okay, so uh, 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 one last question, Paula. Mm -hmm. How can yeah. we get more information about uh, Garden Plaza here in Cleveland? Well, they can call me or Linda uh, at 423-479-4447. Uh, uh, they can go on our website at www.gardenplazaatcleveland.com. Dot com. All right. Okay. We love having Wendy Hughes. Of course, uh, and we've been talking about Garden Plaza. I love to do that. But Hughes Retirement Group, which uh, before I talk about our topic this morning, uh, which I called you about, uh, is uh, you guys are expanding. You're growing uh, in every way, uh, people Possible. and offices. And tell me what's happening. Yeah, we've hired two full-time staff to help, uh, which they are awesome. You've already met one of them, and you know previously Jamie. Um, and then we're going to be at the museum at Five Points for the Senior Expo. Garden Plaza will mm -hmm. be there, and they're going to have popcorn if you want to come to theirs. What and is that? Uh, that is... 
Was that next week? That is next Wednesday, the yes. 27th, yes. and it's from, Lily Banner. Yes. from 10 to 3. Yes. 10 to 3 mm -hmm. Wednesday yes. at the museum. All right. And then Thursday at our office, we're having a Vibes coffee bar. And so if our clients or any new clients that want to bring their prescription drugs in, they get a free coffee from Vibes Coffee. So they'll yeah. they'll have a nice treat there. And then so I'll, I'll have the sheriff there to arrest them if they have too much. Well, okay. So, I mean, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, Zandra will come and ATS. And we'll and give we'll, her some coffee, too. Well, she needs... Mm -hmm. Zandra needs yes. coffee. Yes. Lord, yeah, decaf. Well, uh, uh, no. So, when is your event at, at your office? It's Thursday. This from eight till eleven. Thursday is Friday, so this yes. Thursday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. So, maybe yeah. we'll get more information on all your uh, activities at Hughes. Well, I'm glad you asked. I Steve. know you are. They can call six six four four two zero three, and the ladies there will be happy to help you in any way they can. All right. So I invite. I love. You know, I love having Wendy any time of the year, but especially during football season because. <laughs> Because, look, Wendy, now, now there's a lot of new people in Cleveland, a lot of new listeners. Don't know why. I guess the radios are stuck. Uh, or, and we now have viewers. So yeah. oh. your football Saturdays are, are all about food a lot of times for your family and your friends. And so tell me what happens over there. Okay, so... <laughs> I can't tell you that's a secret. No, oh, oh, wow. uh, okay. that. Well, um, we like to try new things. So when you called yesterday, I thought I'll make some fall uh, granola because that's always good as a snack. So try to think like Granger is really picky about if it's not kept hot or it's not kept cold or, you know, the right temperature, that sort of thing. So granola is something that you can just leave out all day and people can munch on, and it's kind of healthy. And then I made Italian meatballs, which I started thinking, if you have kids and you use little sliders, you can make a little mini Italian meatball sandwiches, that's and the kids good. can come and make those by themselves, and you don't have to cater to that. So that's, that's, that's one of the keys is to making food that is easily accessible and can be kept warm or cool all day so you're not... Yeah. Working the whole time. Yes. But yes. So you can enjoy the games. Yes. But I did, you know, I like to do a little history. Oh, please. So uh, we're playing who? Texas San Antonio. Yeah. Let me tell you a little the bit, bit of history about them. And their uh, nickname is? I don't know. <gasps> I don't know. The Roadrunners. The Roadrunners. <laughs> the Roadrunners. They are in the football bowl subdivision in the American Athletic Conference, and they play in the Alamo Dome. They started it to, in 2006, so they're a very new team. Um, and in 2011, that's when they first had the idea in 2006, but 2011 was their first recruiting class. They had 27 freshmen. They redshirted all of them, and then uh, they played the next year. So very, very new they're thing. New I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, see, you're bringing us I know. Now. And their weird. inaugural season was – they, their season was four to six. They, they had four wins. But don't, don't bat an eyelash oh, at them. No. We obviously cannot take oh, anyone for granted. Not even Austin P, which right. was a precursor to Florida. Yes, I know. Florida was a painful game to watch. But anyway, so then I start thinking, well, where did tailgating come from since we love to do tailgating at football games? So in 1861, the American Tailgaters Association was started, oddly enough, when the Confederate and Union soldiers may, met at the first Battle of Bull Run. And that's what was called tailgating for some reason. I'm not really sure. But it went on Was there to, a lot of food at that uh, battle? I, I don't know. <laughs> that I'm going to have to do a little more research. But that's wow. where the first word tailgating gating came from. Wow. And so the first football game that it was used at was New Brunswick, New, York, New Jersey between Rutgers and Princeton in 1869. And then the Green Bay Packers actually coined the term in 1919 and it stuck from there. Wow. That's pretty good, Wendy. Yeah. That's Very good. not bad. Yeah. And so then real quick before I finish, September 24th, 12 to 6, this is the fall market at Grit and Grace. And if you go there, they do have a booth for Alabama, Georgia oh. and Tennessee fans <laughs> for stands to put in their front yard. So if you're interested in those, they're really cute. Uh, now, I understand the uh, Alabama and Georgia stands are a little weak, a little, little, little flimsy. Well, but. people could say that about Tennessee, too, so be careful. Well, that's a good point. Yeah. 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 Georgia has yeah. won the last two titles. Yes. So that's, yeah, that's true, yeah. yeah. Um, Cupcake Divas has a new owner, and she has a lot of really cool um, fall-flavored cupcakes right now and seems to sell out almost every day. Just so. have, her, have her come in and just bring bring the merchandise. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah. I'll do that. Okay, and some great places to find mums and pumpkins right now, Barn Nursery, Ace Hardware, and Udawal Nursery. They already have stuff out there. If you go to Radio Girls' uh, Facebook page, 
Um, we have a uh, recipe on there for caramel apple pretzel bites. They're really good. Caramel apple pretzel bites. Yes. And then I have two $25 gift cards if you're too lazy and you don't want to fix anything Whoa. for Chick-fil-A. Oh, my goodness. So we'll really? give them both to the same person. You want to give both to the same person? Uh, if you want to split them up, you can. But I thought this would buy a good tray of minis Maybe or no, we'll do, nuggets. Yeah. So yeah. basically a $50 gift card. Yeah. All right. There you heard it. Wendy Hughes, Hughes Retirement. Before I tell you how you can win these uh, two $25 gift cards, Wendy, Hughes Retirement Group, re repeat all your contact information, if you will. Yeah, just go to, uh, you can call us at 664-4203. We're right over there behind, uh, near the softball field at Cleveland High School. It's easy peasy to find. Lily O'Brien used to hit home runs in your window. I know, and, and now she's going to Furman. Now she's going to Furman. Yeah. Unbelievable. She's all grown up. And before we start this contest for the two $25 Chick-fil-A gift cards, Fala Goins, one more time, Garden Plaza, Cleveland, how do we get in touch with you? They can call 423-479-4447. Love it. All right, so here's what we're going to do. So because we now do the, the calls and the text and everything like that, we're going to put 10 minutes. Hey, Sheridan, you still getting married? Sheridan. It's like being on Hee Haw. Uh, that's a good point. <laughs> Well, who would that? See, that's a whole other thing. Who would I be? Who, who are the characters on Hee Haw? Anyway, I don't it know. It depends we'll on what day it is. Good point. So, hey, Sheridan, can you take some calls? She's already taken them. All right, so the next 10 minutes till 10 minutes after 9 Eastern, uh, we will take uh, qualifiers for two $25 gift cards to Chick fil A from Hughes Retirement Group right now. You got 10 minutes. Call or text. Call the volunteer at a pest mix line, 423-614-6499. We'll have the gift cards here at the station. Or you can text our uh, cell with Darren Miller text line. Darren Miller at EXP Real Estate. Darren's trying to win, probably. Uh, I don't think that's legal. Sellwithdarren.com. So great way to end the broadcast this morning. Uh, it's a and perfect wind as usual. Fall Fun Friday. It's our first one of the year. So thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, and so you can win uh, two, not one, but two $25 gift cards from Chick-fil-A. Again, courtesy of Hughes Retirement Group. That's it for us uh, this morning. Uh, what we're going to do, so we'll do this till uh, 10 after the hour. Uh, we'll come back on and announce the uh, winner of this. You could use $50 at Chick-fil-A. Oh, my goodness. How about it? Plus, uh, we're going to announce the winners of the Mayfield Farm Park Passes. We'll do that again this afternoon. It's been a fun morning. Very, very busy morning. And let me repeat, if you weren't with us about an hour and a half ago, uh, Bradley Central High School made their exclusive first announcement of their first Hall of Fame class this morning. I just, if you missed this, I want to repeat uh, what happened. Uh, Patrick Spangler, the principal, was joined by uh, Bradley, uh, voice of the Bears, uh, Gary Onby, uh, earlier this morning. The first Hall of Fame class in the 108-year history of Bradley Central is the following. Dr. Paul Kahn, Rex Dockery, Lily Frank Fitzgerald, Dale R. Hughes, Bob Johnson, Steve Sloan, and Corky Whitlock. Wow. What wow. a class. And uh, they will be honored on December uh, 7th. Bradley's going to put out more information. And then uh, in person, they'll honor him December 8th at the Cleveland Bradley basketball games. Unbelievable. And I do appreciate the exclusive announcement happening right here. 903. We're gonna we're taking calls and texts. 423-614-6499. We'll we'll come back with a winner about 10 after. Looking for the dealer who's gonna give you more.